hundred percent. So yeah, I think we should just get straight into the introduction. So the co-host for this evening is Josh Corner, and we have Jordan Bird. How are we doing? Good, thank you. Thanks for having me. Love it. You've done this before. You see this role play thing that we're doing. We've already had the welcome sign about twenty minutes ago, straight off the bat. And we've just. And the best thing is that everyone's missed is how uh, Jordan is immediately thinking of others and already apologised to Josh for not like. You can't have milk, can you, son? Oh, yeah, I didn't even mention that. <laughs> it's about breaking down the barriers. I can, have cer- I can have certain milks, but I'm not fussy. It was it's worth making it. making him sound a pansy. It's <laughs> not yeah, fair. Yeah, it's a medical condition. I've told you about this before. It's a but medical. no, like that. Top notch cup of tea. Perfect. Anytime. Perfect You're always welcome up here. Always welcome. And, and I must say, it, it was about 45 seconds before. We got offered a cup of tea, which is our record, I think. No but messing. That's no messing. In. It's because we're in the north, you see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so bear in mind, it's a uh, what day is it? It's like a Wednesday night. So this part will be coming out Sunday in our time, mm-hmm. and um, this was all very, very last minute. We've come off the back of a, a roller coaster of a Donington Park. You know, both you now for people tuning in, yes. and obviously the name put uh, John Birds popped up. Uh, you are now the the owner of yes. Paul Bird Motorsport. So we've gone from just Paul Bird's daughter <laughs> <laughs> to now trying to fill his shoes as, yeah, I guess team owner, along with my brother. He's not here. He's racing at the Norse Life this weekend. So he left today. So that's why it's just me. <laughs> oh, God, look, I, 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 I'm going to have to start this off with an apology straight away. Me and Chrissy came up on this. Would it be two years ago? Yeah, it will be. Yeah, it must be. It's got to be. It would be two years yeah. ago, and yet the tea making skills are still on point at that yeah, point. Yeah, I was just the tea girl at that point, <laughs> and now I've been allowed in. I've gone up in the world. Oh, God. <laughs> we, 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 did, uh, we did an interview with, with your dad and yes. uh, with your brother, and that, that story's there. And like I say, I must apologise because I totally ballsed up that interview. Like, Chrissy, <laughs> as normal, did a fantastic job. Bit of stage job. fright. Bit of stage you fright. You have no idea. There's me trying to impress him, doing this, doing that wrong. And I just, you know, when you want the world to swallow you up, John. I was just like that going, Chris is just shaking his head on the way home, like, I'm so sorry for all our avid listeners to this, I, I'm going to try and make it up to you, and I'm not doing a good job because we'll I'm best. still talking, so it's a, but no, we've got everything to talk about, you know, we've got Donatin, and even in the kitchen, we have like a crack before the pre-crack, yes. and this, I'm really looking forward to this, so the pressure's on you now, yeah, Dawn, because <laughs> it's like everything that you've been through, and it's a bit like... It's where, been a whirlwind. It has, but I'm, 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 I'm stuck, and I'm thinking, where do we even begin? Yeah, where, where, I think like, we're just obviously chatting, we were chatting on the way here, and we were chatting this before, then I think it would be lovely if we started with what was what was growing up in in Paul Bird Motorsport yeah. like because oh, I like that. you said, I didn't, you, I didn't suggest you that. said yeah. it, no but you alluded to before you said I'm I'm, I'm no longer just Paul Bird's daughter which yeah. I understand why you would say that because you you must have had that a lot but I think when someone like my dad you know you have this big presence he walked in the garage and everyone was scared you know that's just how my dad was and I think that's mint but because of that you're then sort of in his shadow a little bit so it's been an adjustment being the one that, you know, I don't want everyone to be scared of me, but you need to try and have that presence is impossible and I probably won't be able to do it. But no, I mean, going right back to the beginning, you know, it hasn't always been as it is now. It's, you know, it, you have to start somewhere. So we started off out the back of a van. I mean, pr- even way back, Dad started motocrossing. That's how the love, you know, of it came. So then it was sponsoring riders then it became having your own team and it just spirals out of control and you kind of get a bit hooked on it don't you that's why we're yeah. all doing what we do but did you would you say you were like immediately hooked you know when you went you know at such a young age because i actually think i don't have it i didn't have a choice i was just going to say yeah that. I, I, think... I actually think i don't i didn't when, have a choice when it, so what's the earliest team that you can remember so for me Remembering is it's a difficult one to say because you see all these pictures and there's videos yeah. and but I mean the first track I ever went to was Cadwell Park and my brother and I being twins we were six days old so I think could be wrong but it was Knock Hill and then there was a little gap and then we went straight to Cadwell and you know we were teeny weeny and my granddad on my mum's side at the time had his team don't ask me who we were running somebody i'm probably going to say john reynolds my granddad and john reynolds thick sick thick as thieves you know wherever there was ben atkins there was often john reynolds and and at that time my dad had his team and that's how my mum and dad met and yeah and then six days old at cadwell park 
probably not the yeah. greatest of tracks to go to when you've just had a baby yeah. for my poor mother <laughs> twins bless her literally yeah walking up that hill i think it gets steeper every year as well but yeah so it, it's right back to the beginning it's sort yeah. of embedded in my brother and i and so you've been actually there pre the yeah you've been a yeah. huge part of the entire yeah. pbm team really haven't you from the start so. yeah it's literally the very beginning and i always sort of said you know we were saying in the kitchen i I knew I wanted to do this. I knew I wanted to have the team in some way or have a big involvement in it. I didn't mm. know what that would be, but I knew my dad wasn't going to do it forever. You can't. Yeah. It's impossible. There was going to be one day where I thought, you know what, I've had enough. I've done what I can do, and then that's when I expected to come in, and that was my turn. Yeah. And it kind of hasn't happened that way. It's been a click of the fingers, and we're we're in, and, yeah. and off you go. So there hasn't been that transitional period where. I could follow my dad's footsteps and watch what he did and sort of take notes and, you know, it's just not been that way. It's been yeah. like... You might find that, though, that's a, that could be, like, a negative but also, like, a positive as Definitely. well because, look, we all know how... We were just chatting briefly there about yeah. grief and, you know, that it's difficult. People process it in a different way, actually. It's going to give you a little bit of focus and, and you, you say that you're potentially not ready for it, but you have probably find that you, you so are. I think that's the best thing. I think that's why we love racing, because you're in an absolute pressure cooker yeah. and we thrive off it. Yeah. That Otherwise, if you can't, if you can't hack it, then you don't need to be here. You know, yeah. nobody's making you. Nobody's saying, right, you've got to take over this team. You don't have a choice. It's, yeah. it's not being like, I've done this because I want to. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've come in with, like, three rounds to go and it's been chaos. <laughs> God. But the thing, like, sometimes, like, people from the outside looking in think, well, you've just... You've been on the sidelines, far from it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think one of my... Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. 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 You very much weren't, you know, no, like... You know the game. And I think sure. that is a perfect example of this, how this industry works. And that, that's very much different, especially from my point of view. You know, I love to race bikes, but for this, is now it's become a business. And yeah. we'll talk about that, yeah. like, further down this interview. But you've grown up in the world and you're very much a part of the foundation. So when you say... Like, beginning you kind of went I've just stepped it you, ha you haven't at all you that, yeah it has you, been coming yeah and we haven't realised it's been happening either yeah it's sort of slowly but I think you know when I watch and think about what my dad's done like it's unreal like the amount he has done that I forget about and that, to be honest he probably forgot about too but I think it's the word shadow but, and yeah. I'm sorry out of everyone that we've ever interviewed that is a at a, oh, I'm, yes. not, I'm, no, I'm no, not trying to, yeah. yeah, I don't have to tell you this. Yeah. <laughs> that is a big, big, big shadow. It's a huge me. shadow. It is a huge well, shadow. Well, somebody said to me, oh, you know, how do you, th you know, think about it at the minute? And I said, I've got some massive shoes to fill mm. and my brother and I's feet are growing. <laughs> We're getting there. But it is, it's a big, you know, he's, it's 27 years of my dad working his ass off, to be honest. Like, with all the people around him, you know, it's not a one-man band by any means. But, like, it, this has been progressing over 27 years. Like, it's a long time. Yeah, I think people probably don't realise the amount of effort that's gone into PBM. Yeah. Because, you know, Fred Clark summed it up wonderfully in the, in the talk that he did at Alton Park mm -hmm. to say, you know, actually British Superbikes has been... You know, PBM has been just a huge part of his success. And it's been uh, a constant, uh, hasn't yeah. it, I think? Uh, and but actually, we'll, we'll look at that and say, top team, you know big budget like yeah it's a dream really isn't it like it's not a drama for them but yeah in actual fact that that's not really the case is not it and a huge a huge amount of effort goes into just even making that happen yeah. to be the, that top team doesn't it so it's not it doesn't yeah it doesn't happen overnight i mean you know that it, it's a slow progression you start yeah. off with sponsoring a rider it's small budget and then you know a, a fine example of it is probably simon from vision track he started off sponsoring very small and then gone bang and, and now what he's doing you know with the mm. lads in moto three it's a very similar thing with my dad it's you start off with one rider and then maybe you get two and then you buy a van and then you buy them a bike and then you buy yeah. your own van and your own bike and they do it you know in your and it just it progresses and as you go you collect more people that come and help you out and, and off you go yeah. I, I, I just think it's a great like I've got so many questions and you've immediately answered them within I'm looking at the time within 10 minutes but we're obviously <laughs> going to detail it's like one of my big round off questions is how do you feel you know with how 
we're, we're losing your father mm. and this team PBM, the, the, the castle that this yeah. is, and how people from the outside think, does she actually want to do it? No, no. Yeah. Within 10 minutes, I can see, yeah. like, I absolutely your your... love it. And... It's mega. I love it. This is, like, I know I have walked into an absolute dream team. Like, it's there. It's, I haven't had to do any of the groundwork. It's been done for me. You know, I've been there watching it and taking it all in, but I've been able to go in and try and capitalise from it. You know, the groundwork's been done. I can go in and... You know, it has been chaotic. I've had mm. cheers, Dad. Drop me in at a great timing, you know, but at the same time as trying to grieve the loss of your dad, it's for a lot of people if they lose a friend, a family member, they kind of die and that's it. Mm. And and you have to shut your door and deal with that just in your family. Whereas I've you know, you don't want to say in the public eye, but in a way it well, is. It's it in is, our yeah, little public it eye. It's and, and you know, my dad passed away, and then I think it was like 12 days later, we were back at Alton Park, and and you're like, you haven't even, I hadn't even got my head around anything then. And I'm like, oh, we've got to, you know, we've got to go and win races, and people are going to ask me questions, and I think it makes you deal with it a little bit better because you have to think about it. You can't just put it to the back of your mm. brain, and you've got to think about it because you've got to answer questions, which is helpful, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask a very blunt question. Has it hit you yet? I. I actually Sorry had this how good that yeah, was, no, you know I, mean? I had this conversation with my brother. I genuinely think it will be after Brands Hatch because it's been a lot of emotions. Yeah, and, and the last three rounds have been bang, 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 one after the you know it's been race weekend off, race weekend off, and then Brands Hatch finale. And I think because we've been working so hard for my dad, and everything you do as PBM is for my dad. Yes, yeah. You, that's been the overriding thing. So I would say after Brands is when we'll have that downtime. We'll probably go on a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have the opportunity to, yeah, like and you have, said, close your doors and yeah, and, and do, and do what that you on need your to own. Do. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because it's a process. You know, you both know with losing Chrissy, that's what you you've got to process it because you can't just carry on and not deal with it. Otherwise, it will slap you in the face at a later date. Oh God, no. Well, to be, we were talking about that as well. And yeah. it's like we, you know, we're very lucky that we were good friends with Chrissy, yes. but we're not. You know, Grace, yes. you know, and Martin and Karen and yourself and yeah. your brother and, you know, it's we, we are it's, very, it's very different. incredibly lucky to know it, it, what you're going through. And yeah. like, like, and when Grace got in touch with you to come on the show, it just shows how yeah. powerful yeah. the pair you are. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? It, it, I think you have it, to turn your pain into power. And, Otherwise, because it's, it, you know, they say fight or flight and sink and swim and all the rest of it. It's all of those things. It, you can only go one way. And Chrissy and my dad although they were very different characters, they were very similar at the same time. Yeah. They both had battles to face, they both had struggles to get to where they wanted to be. That's life. And you've got to come out on top of it, and they both did that. And, you know, I think Grace is... You know, we were saying in the house, weren't we, that I talking to Grace now is like speaking to Chrissy. Got, As she yeah. gets older, it is like having a conversation with Chrissy. And I would hope that, you know, over the next few years that people say, God, Dad. Not everything my dad yeah. said I would like to be <laughs> known for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And there are a few things. You know, you know what's like, um, people will be listening listen to this and what I'm really looking forward to is hearing a bit more more about you, you know, your story yeah. and everything that but it's so interesting like and we're gonna talk about Grace and we're gonna talk about yourself and it's that bad comparison that you said that you're turning your, your pain into power and you are your own person. Yes. But then you're so proud that you are like hundred percent. Your grace is a self. You are you. Yeah. And then well, you've got them too as well. Oh, I, God, th I, I, I remember. I can't, I can't really remember much. Obviously, when Dad first passed away, but I remember doing a post and it said something like, "To everybody else, Paul Bird was the most successful team owner in British history, but to me, he was just my dad. That was all he was. I never saw him because I didn't have to. You know, I knew the racing was cool and I knew I loved it and I knew how successful we were, we were and are, but I didn't have to think about it until he's gone." And now I'm, you know, looking at bills that we're paying and yeah. crash damage bills and how much they get as that bonus and this. I'm thinking, what? Well, you know, he actually did a hell of a lot. Yeah. And now I'm realising, I think, I wish I could say fair play, but he knew really. He, did, yeah. he carried his little chest around. He knew he'd done a good job, I think. And it's funny because when when you said we were, we were obviously coming over to do this interview, I was like, oh, that's great. 
And then when we were driving over here, I was thinking, I've known you for for, for, years, for a yeah. long time now, yeah. and and knowing that you've been a huge part of the team, and you've you've been there, and you've seen it, and, and done it all, and I, I was really, I, I didn't know how, how you were going to react. Yeah. But within five minutes of chatting to you, I just thought we'll you right. you are way more prepared than you probably <laughs> yeah. realise. And what I would say to every other team out there is look out because <laughs> incoming. You know, no, just just from a. Um, just the way you talked about racing and 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 the, the setup and everything, like you've uh, got an incredibly good approach to it. And yeah, you think, uh, yeah, you've you've had the you've definitely had the schooling, yeah. like you've, you like you say, it's your life. You could have wished for a better teacher, really. Yeah, couldn't you? and you wouldn't have realised you were no, having that. You not know? a clue at the time, because you know we have a big group of people that do it, and and I. And my dad would probably be like, oh, God, I can't believe you said that. But I genuinely thought my dad turned up at a race weekend and took the glory. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I honestly thought that's what he did. And I probably have told him. Helicopter. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah, exactly. But this is it. That's exactly it. Came in his helicopter, dragging his Louis Vuitton bag behind him and, you know, yeah. living his best life. I genuinely thought that's what he did. Yeah. And then I come back and, you know, and, and see the team and... and They've been amazing because as much as I've lost my dad, they've lost their boss. Yeah. And there's been a lot of uncertainty in the... Well, my, because my dad was sick for probably a month. So my dad really wasn't... Long. Yeah, so it started... He missed Cadwell Park, which was when he was really quite poorly, but I would say he started to get sick at Snetterton. And I saw him and I went, you don't look very well. He went, oh, I should have put my you know, typical man. I had a pint with them in the bar. Yeah, it's fun. One of the yeah. lads who um, he wasn't really chatting to me, but I was with uh, Adrian, and Adrian yeah. lives in Carlisle, and mm -hmm. they were chatting about Macau yeah. actually. Yeah, sure. And I think he, he was creating a divorce situation, is what he yeah. was doing, but laughing, having a pint. Yeah, and and we kind of got Snetterton out of the way, and and I looked at him when he left to go home. I thought, you're you just don't look quite right. You know, when someone just doesn't have that little glimmer in their eyes, and I thought, oh. So, so we kept our eye on him a little bit, and he was fine. And then I would say, I can't even think, it was around the start of August. He went, oh, I've got, oh, yeah, I've got, I feel terrible. So, and he went to hospital, and then he was there for four days, and they went, oh, we think, you know, we think you're all right. And he came home for a week. And my brother and I came up here and, you know, looked after him a little bit, because he was a terrible patient. A terrible patient, he was a pain. Get me this, I don't want that. I want that food shit. Oh my god, oh my god. Do you want to go back to hospital law? Like, he was a pain for a week. Back the car. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, get in your arm. But he was a real pain. But that's when I knew he actually wasn't right. So, mm. back into hospital, and then it must have been another, yeah, it was another three weeks. And then we lost him on Friday, the 1st of September. But I'd seen him on the Thursday. And I looked and I thought, oh, you don't look great. And I thought, I prepared myself. I thought, we're going to be, I'm going to be backwards and forwards from this hospital for a couple of months. Yeah. But I thought, I've got time to tell everyone and, you know, my team will know that this is where we're at. And then literally, I would say, I left him at eight o'clock at night, three o'clock in the morning, we got a call saying, you need to come quick. And he'd just taken a nosedive and basically he'd got pneumonia and his body just couldn't cope. Oh, so it was just, it had all just gone to pot, basically. But now looking at it, a blessing in disguise, because my dad would not have wanted to be somebody that needed a round the clock. Long-term ill patient, could, no. Oh, he was a pain for a week. Imagine long-term <laughs> ill. It could have been a nightmare for us and for him. So really, it was a blessing. And actually, when my dad was on, I saw him on the day, and he was still talking, and he said, my race team, he said, what are we going to do? And I said, well, what do you want to do? And he went, it can't stop. He said, promise me it won't stop. And I thought, oh, no. I thought, I'm in hook, line and sinker here. I'm not going to say no. So I went, right. I said, I promise you. I said, you've got nothing to worry about. I said, I swear to you, this is going to be fine. And then I never heard another peep out of him when we lost him at like three o'clock in the afternoon. So it was a wild journey. It was wild. It yeah. happened so quick. And I was like, oh, God, well, what do we do now? And then you're getting all questions and everybody needs to know. And I thought, I actually haven't got time to deal with this because it's going to be out before, you know, I, I have time. And, and it was. It got leaked on the riders' group chat. God knows how. Don't know where it came from. And then I literally had ten minutes 
to say a post, a picture, and it was fired out. And I thought, oh god, I wasn't, I hadn't even left the hospital. Yeah. And that's equally, it was a right headache for us, and it was awful, and and we hadn't had time to even think about it. But to flip it, you think. He clearly was a very popular man in BSB, in Big, bike yeah. racing. For it to have happened that quickly, we think, imagine if you were like Kim Kardashian. It had gone like that, and, uh, you know, and that was my dad. And that made me think, right, this is, this was my dad's life, and it's now going to be mine. So then it was kick up the bum, and then we were off to Orton Park within a week. Yeah. So that was how it happened. Do you know what was like? Ironically, I've been listening to. I love an audio book, and I've been listening to. I've done Shaggy's book two or three times because I think it's fantastic. See, Dad features. Hey, me, I actually haven't read Shaggy's book. Oh my God, Jordan, get it. Listen you think to all this is stuff we've had? I would say well. you, you, then, you then talks a lot about yeah. uh, about your dad openly, and honestly as well, mm -hmm. and uh, and. I uh, was listening to John McGuinness's book actually on the on that day and I was going to a restaurant when I seen the post and stuff like that and the part of the book is, is chatting about you yeah. now which was which was strange but I mean fair play to you is because uh, you know it's difficult to lose any anybody it's... but uh, you're not wrong when you say it is in the public eye because yeah. it is yeah it's just our own little you kind of go in the gates at racing and you're in yeah. your own little world and, aren't and you're also you? used to it because you've grown up with it yeah. and, like we all have but British City Bikes is a big thing. It's popular. It's not a small. Uh, do you know what? Fry. As much as I go, I go and go to every race and you see all the crowds, until now I don't realise how big it is. Did not realise, because I've been, you know, we've been doing a sponsorship brochure and updating it all, and like I'm looking at Eurosport figures and ticket sales and you know age range that it reaches and countries that it shows. And like yeah. it's massive. Yeah. Like I've never had to think about that. I just tip up, have the crack with the lads, with the girls out there, and it's mega. But now I'm having to look at the other stuff. It is unbelievable. Like the, what they've done to run the championship. I mean, they get a lot of stick. Mm. They're going to. That, it's just the way it is. But what they've actually done and the places they reach and how many people they reach is unbelievable. It's amazing. Yeah, as a as a marketing tool for a business to use, it's amazing. Like, mm. Really, when you look at the stat, like you say, when you look at the stats of it and stuff. As much as I would sit to love, and we could probably sit and talk about your your dad all yes. night, but this is about you actually. So yeah. I'd love to. Where, where do you come from? I, I'm sitting. No, no, sorry, honestly. The no, accent's sitting, not northern, no, no, is it? No, 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 I'm, honestly, I'm sitting here. No, no, I'm honestly sitting here amazed how you've just delivered that. Oh, you know what I mean? No, 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 I'm not being funny, but you it's can't. Sorry, the accent. Uh, you know, no, I thought you meant where. No, you're, you're up north. I know that. Much. Anyway, the west side. We'll forgive you for that side of things, but. Like that is just honestly, you can't you. you can't breed character what you've got there. I'm definitely a bird. That's what everyone says. Yeah. I was saying to you both. called you a bird in the negative so, manner, and you go. No, back. yeah, get out. <laughs> yeah. Right, but, well, it's, on, I was. We were going through all Dad's bits and bobs, and he has a red plate that says birdie, and I've got my eyes on it. I feel like Class. it's gonna happen. No, but no, but yeah, yeah, so, you, know, you know, we have our you know, parents, and you know how we're raised, but it like. That you know, thank you. That, what how you you know what you deliver and you can you know, a lot of people can put a face on. Yes. You you're not putting a mask no. on. That like everything you've said there. Well, it's, it's genuine. You don't say. What's the point of saying it if you don't mean it? Yeah. Yeah. It could be empty, and you say, "Oh," and then go home, and you. But you you've been dealt with what you've been dealt with, and you've got to crack on, haven't you? But I'm, I'm going to be very open and honest. Like not in. I know I've met you once before when we came here yes. last time, but let's talk. I want to talk about the illusion of money. And sometimes yes. people think if people have wealth, it almost makes them weak in character. Yeah. I, I'm not seeing yeah, that. No, 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 because no, no, I, yeah. I didn't know your dad. Yes. That, is the, that is, this is me sitting here. I sat there and I, you see that, you know, you hear the stories and you, you see the businessman, you see that, you know, I've got to have that edge. And looking and speaking to you now, I, Everything there is in full belief. Like I'm, I'm not putting this yeah. across very well. It's I just feel like you have an edge, yeah. and it's Thank fucking you. great. I, I <laughs> feel like I've been, I've been blessed that I, you know, my family have, you know, we're very comfortable. I'm very fortunate, and I actually do think it makes you work harder. Mm. 
Mm. Like there's points I've been on holiday. <laughs> my dad's got left into first class and made my brother and I go right into economy, because because it's just to show us. That and you were recognised ever, yeah. poor man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but wait, we've been on holiday in there. Yeah, kind of. But you have to. Can you guess first class flights to Skeggy? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Cardiff. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was Blackpool no. actually to the pleasure <laughs> beach. But no, like I think it makes you work harder because. Yeah. Everything's not given to you on a plate. You have to. Everyone thinks it is, but you have got to. You've got to be tough stuff and do your yeah, own thing. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. You know what's mad? You can't. You can't. You know when you try and take away something from someone, you can't imagine them any different. Mm. I'm trying to imagine the bird family without the money now, and I feel like you'd get the same result. In a round of, you know, you know, I think you it's know, just you know, how you're wired, isn't it? it I is think high. it's how you're wired up. Yeah, you're just, it's interesting. Yeah, like you, like you've just said. I, what I find great actually is the PBM has been going for such a long time, but the way that you talk about it now is that you stepping into this role. Yeah, you could say it's ha ha happened prematurely mm -hmm. and not necessarily in the way that you would have liked it, but actually. Sure. You've been discussing it, and it's something oh, you've been yeah. looking to do. Oh, poor dad's like you're doing my head in, because <laughs> it was a conversation that we had many yeah. times. And I think that it's it's actually fantastic for the sport. Obviously, we've had a huge loss, but the way that you talk about it, you might be the person, and I'm very sure you probably will be, that'll take it to the next level. Things evolve, yeah. and excuse that it's bike racing for a second lots of children inherit their family's businesses and roles and when i mean inherit them i mean uh, yeah they just get legally. given them and not yeah and off you go but but they actually step into those roles and in lots of cases go on to take them to new heights mm. and i honestly could see that that happened for you just in the way that you've spoke about oh, it, love th it this you, evening i think you know there's lots of things that my dad did where i thought oh my god you know you're stuck in the old days and you know i think i can bring in like new things that would not make it better but would help make things easier would improve yeah. things like i've said this is like it's not the end of a chapter but it's sort of a turn of a new page if that mm, makes sense because yeah. it's still it's going to be pbm it's always going to be some people said would you change the name not a chance i was like no, of they've not. won eight championships i'm staying as pbm and carrying on i'm not starting from one yeah. <laughs> you know th what's the point in doing that so it is it's not you know a new book it's not a new chapter it's just a turn of a page yeah. it's carrying it on and, and doing things slightly differently which i think the team probably it's quite welcomed <laughs> and actually as sorry dom as well you know you're you're one of two at this precise moment in time i can only think of one other female te team owner and manager uh that's a that's a, a yeah. fantastic thing in itself you almost forget that don't you yeah you do no, no, male yeah. female or martian you've got, you've do, yeah. you got Feho, but then you've got Dow Racing too. Yes, yeah, of course. So with Sorry, Samai yes. and Clarissa, and Samai, especially, she's you know she's quite at the forefront yeah, of that over, on, yeah. and she you know she she loves it, and she absolutely thrives off it. And then obviously with Faye, and and funnily enough, you know I was talking to Faye at the weekend, and her love of racing actually started because of my dad. So her and her sister sponsored our team to do Macau, yeah. and that's how she she fell in love with it. So then she's gone on seeing what my dad did and thought, I want to do the same. Do the same thing. And, you know, here she is. And, and doing a good job as well, because, you know, the way she's done it, she sort of, I think she sort of bought a team that was already existing, you know, and, and did her own tweaks and things. But it's not easy when you've never done anything like that before. Like, I've mm. been able to watch... You know, my granddad on my mum's side had his team and my dad. I've been able to watch, but she was chucked in right at the deep end. Yeah. Massively, massively at the deep end. Yeah. And, you know, I think they're doing a good job. I think it's just great to have more women involved at that level in the sport. That's not a... I'm not trying to be no, political no, here when I say that. And, you know, people are people at the end of the day. But it's uh, it's typically a male-dominated world. For sure. And for diversity, you know, it's got to be... It has to be, because the crowds that are watching, you look, there's kids girls boys yeah. everybody is there and, and it is for everyone I, i'll probably get rinsed for this in the comments <laughs> right but i honestly think in lots of ways women bring a very different perspective to men 100 percent. i some of the my current boss is a man so i'll be careful about how i say <laughs> this but the two best bosses i've ever had working in the like last 10 years of working were both women 
and they just had a very different outlook on things. And I don't know if it's just a female yeah. uh, trait or whatever, but there seems to be. Uh, this is gonna sound awful, but I wanna say there's like less dick swinging. And yeah, but things, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Like, it ma- it makes sense because I think a lot of men sometimes carry this ego. Yeah. And I I think as a woman you don't like I have no ego whatsoever. I know I'm so. It's, it sounds so weird to say fortunate, but I am so fortunate to be in this position. Obviously, it's not how I wanted it to happen, but yeah, we, yeah. you know. But I now have to work my ass off to keep it going. You know, yeah. and and whether you're a man, woman, whatever, you do the same thing. It's it's irrelevant, isn't it? But I think maybe a, an organisational point of view, I do actually think women are better because mm. Johnny, our team manager, sometimes I think, what are you doing? <laughs> like he's got all these emails and tab. Like I cannot cope with a tab open. That's probably a generational thing. Yeah, more, probably. More than it's a gotta go. Thing. It's gotta go. Yeah. So he's he's learning from me. <laughs> Has there been any part of you, even in the last few weeks, mm-hmm. or even? earlier part of your life that doesn't want to do this no that's incredible yeah, yeah no I think that's clear like that's yeah. no, no, I, know it's, I know it's clear yeah. but you know what I mean it's a bit like yeah no I, I, no not, not at all not a single no. bit of doubt no so, I mean the last two years were pretty um, they were shit <laughs> it was, it you know, was shit <laughs> you know, no no it was because we, we I'm trying to think ah, this is terrible this I'm trying to think when me and Chrissy were here I think it was two years ago when it was Christian was I think Christian was still riding for us yeah so he rode for us in 21 was his last year with yeah. us and you know the bikes were not good enough then I was going to ask what, yeah. what if you were going to put your finger on, a, yeah. on, a, on an answer the bikes be... weren't good enough right. One, but again we were talking about things evolving it happened you know a few years ago Ducati were at the top and, and nobody else could keep up with us and then it switched and Yamaha were completely unbeatable yeah. we couldn't do anything to do be, get even close to them we were fighting for points which was ridiculous yeah. really and <laughs> then again now you look and, and it's flipped and there are obviously tracks that are going to favour bikes it's the nature of the beast isn't it mm. and Thruxton is a fine example of that we just could not get it right at Thruxton they tried everything in the most methodical way possible it wasn't like we were throwing spanners at everything no idea it just didn't work the bike just did not work there but then you know you go to Snetterton we had Tommy did the triple you know it's it, it's just the way it is things it yeah. swings and roundabouts but I would say 2021 and 2022 the bikes weren't good enough, but Christian, you know, he was actually fighting for the championship in 21. Yeah. And I can't remember what happened the last two races, but the third race, he got knocked off by Danny Buchan. And I remember, because if we remember, they got married. Poor Christian and Nickerman got married pretty oh, much God. straight after. And he'd actually hurt his hand. And I was like, oh, no, if this is his wedding finger. She's going to go mental. <laughs> and luckily, it was the other hand. <laughs> But, you know, and, and then he ended up going from second, third in the championship to finishing fourth, and it mm. changed like that. Yeah. And then 2022 was just a write-off. The bikes were just not good enough. There were no new parts, but because they knew that coming into 23, we had the upgrades, and, and you know, and, and that's the only reason why I think my dad could carry on, because he, he knew coming into this year, oh, we're going to get a bit of a rest. And uh, how much... Growing up with your father, and, like, did you ever see... Any quitting him? Any close moments? No, like no. So that's where it's coming a f- from. Isn't a it, few it? times where where he's like, oh, I've had enough of it. I, this I is pissing imagine. me off. I, a normal conversation that anybody would have in any job you yeah, do, no matter what. That's it, isn't it? It's some, you sometimes come home from work, you've had a crap day, you don't want to do it anymore. There's talking it's about something normal. and doing something, isn't it? For and, sure. And uh, a very close friend of mine always says, has this saying, talk and do us. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's clear that you guys have been doers over yeah. doers over the years. You know, you know what's interesting sitting here though is that your you know your dad actually had the fun times a motorbike race. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not talking about a generational thing. It's like he got on a motorcycle and enjoyed it. You, uh, you and your brother, unfortunately, it's have business jumped. now, but, isn't no, no, it? No, no. Well, you've always been a part, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You've always from from the cart straight away. Yeah. Straight into. You've it. walked into a garage where. You've got to win. Yeah. It's you so funny because there's, you know, you, there's pictures of my brother especially fast asleep in the garage at like three years old. And you think, what normal kid we'll do that. would fall asleep while there are bikes going around? And, you know, we know how noisy it is. Fast asleep and you think, yeah, it's kind of embedded. I think we're pretty stuck, aren't we? Yeah. 
No, but man, that competitive, you yeah. know, like I, like I was like raised in, like raised, my dad's raised my yeah. entire life and, you know, Grace is on the same path, mm. like with what she did with Chrissy. But it's interesting how you don't know anything else but competitive. Yeah, 100%. And you're just, you're, you're like smiling and sitting yeah. there, but like, it's like you... You don't, you, you know nothing else. You, I, I couldn't imagine anyone worse to go to a track day with than you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Why aren't you winning the needed? Yeah, literally. <laughs> you know I mean? it, it's, it's one of those things, like, I I don't know what my life would be like without this, because yeah. I've never had to experience it. And I think when it's so deeply embedded in you, I'm like, what do normal people do at a weekend? Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you do? <laughs> like, I sit at home, I'm like, oh, you know, what should we do? And, you know, my brother, when we were kids, he was like, should we get the lawnmower out and go and put a track in the field? Or that was what we did as kids, and that was how, you know, I don't know, I don't know what you do. It was weird. <laughs> if you were going to imagine anything, mm. what would you be doing? It's a good question for you as well. It's interesting, because like, I, I couldn't imagine my life like, you know but sitting on your drive at nine o'clock at night for God's sake I'd probably sake, be on holiday bike. a lot more I reckon <laughs> I'd bang out a few holidays without racing uh, you see no, but, you, no, but, yeah. you see, but you've got a different you know you've got your own path as yes. well because you were telling us like, you know you've got yes. your own sal- like, yes. salon so and everything like I that I opened Let's my own beauty salon when I was 16 straight in left well I went to college left and I was like oh, I don't want to work for anyone I don't have can't, you know, can't have time off for racing my brother was in the first year of his racing career then and, and I loved going with him yeah. and I thought how else am I going to be able to get time off for racing and that just wasn't going to work so started my own little thing and, and I do love it and still do now and that is you know not many people have a job where I used to go racing and it was pressure and stress and all this adrenaline flying up. I used to go to work in the salon on a Monday and be like zen like who has that nobody I had the best of both worlds so now I don't. So the, the shop is obviously we've got to make a bit of a change there. So hopefully someone's going to come in and rent that and keep it going for me. And then, yeah, I'm just going to be stressed all the yeah. time now. <laughs> You've definitely got a very entrepreneurial mindset, haven't you? It's not, which is which you're going yeah. to need. You're yeah, hundred yeah, percent. You've so, got to. Yeah, for sure. It, it definitely, you've definitely got the character of thriving under pressure, but. Are you not nervous about oh, the yeah. enjoyment getting knocked out of it? Or oh. you know, it's, you know, when we were talking. We had a little group chat, like group chat. We sound like the bloody yeah. WI motorcycle. <laughs> to be honest, us four getting together. Yeah. Christian, uh, we, we keep mentioning him tonight, but like Christian was talking about your passion then becoming a job and sometimes knocks the edge. Yeah, yeah that's what sure. he was saying. It's are you worried about that? Or I'm, I, I would obviously hate for that to happen. Yeah. I, in all honesty, it wouldn't it wouldn't happen. See, Not a this. chance. Because yeah, when you come yeah. back, because we all have days like that. Like, Feeling pumped up. Everyone has a bad day. Yeah, and then you it's... get home on a Monday morning and you deal with real shit. And you're yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Like, and that was actually... So, for instance, like, you go to Auburn Pub. Um, uh, sorry, Donington, just gone. Was a disaster. I drove home thinking, oh, God, all that money. I might as well have just burnt it. What a waste. You know, it's the worst thing ever. I've had enough. I don't want to do it anymore. Like, literally, that's what I thought. Like, this is rubbish. And then I got home, and underneath our TV in the kitchen are our championship trophies. <laughs> and then there's a wall next to it that's full of helmets and cool helmets as well. And I looked, I was like, oh, no, this is actually quite yeah. cool. Like, I, I do want to do this. This is mint. Yeah. Right, you went there, so I'm gonna pull the pin out. Yes. This year. You go to Donington Park. Yes. <laughs> You've got two riders. The yes. one, two in the championship. Yes. They take each other out. Yes. What do you do? What this did is you do? like. <laughs> Let's so, just talk. This is basically <laughs> Coronation Street, isn't it? You know, if you were gonna write a script, so I'm sitting here, right? Come on, Corey, episode whatever. This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna make it juicy. We're gonna make it dramatic. It happened. Yeah. I <laughs> stood on pit wall <laughs> with the lads, as you do, watching, seeing them come over the crest, and I thought, oh, it's a bit close, this is. And then bang, and, and you think, oh, my God. And then there's cameras left, right, and centre, and you're thinking, I cannot react here. So I just walked off. Yeah. <laughs> and I went in the garage, and there were all these people in there, and I just was like, right, I was super calm. I was like, whoever is not team management, mechanic, engineer whatever out and everybody fled and i was like oh this is my job now like this is what my dad would have done and i'd have been like, oh. that, you, know, you know what that was going to be my like when we got to this and we're here now yeah. what would your dad have oh. done in that situation and uh, these boys are that. lucky my dad was not here seriously right. so i'm finding my feet i cannot go in all guns blazing because i haven't earned that yet 
But my dad... <laughs> brands, brands, I have now earned yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been through the works. I am doing it. But, no, my dad would have thrown a few Fs, arms and legs everywhere, and he'd have gone out the back of that garage, rotors running in the helicopter, and he'd have checked out, and he'd have been at home within... I reckon he could have probably done it in an hour. So he'd have been in... He'd have been off. And then boys would not have heard from him for a week. That would have been it. And they would have known that, you know... They were in deep yeah. trouble. But but equally, you flip it the complete other way. No rider ever goes out to take anybody out. That's no. just not what you no. do. And if you do, then you should not be racing because just no, no I don't brainer. think anybody ever does. Of course it, you do don't. And, and I love Tommy and he's mink crack. And I know he did not say, I'm going to knock him out. You know, it's just not going to happen. He's putting himself... But not, 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 we're not talking about health risk. No. That's obviously... But we're talking about champion. Like, yeah. And these two. But, yeah. risk, but you think the whole... It could have easily been a broken collarbone and a broken leg for both of them. Oh. And that's championship over for not the just team. the boys, but my team as well. And I think this is the most important year to win a championship for my dad. You know, and, and that is obviously added pressure. But I think you have to, like we said, you've got to channel that pressure into being better. And, you know, it was a, it was a mistake. It happened... It, there's no point in dwelling on it because you're not going to, you know, you're not going to no, change it. Are you? No. It's happened. But the, the, the most difficult thing about Donington was, unfortunately, I'm going to go back a little bit further. Yes. Was Alton Park. Yes. And you know, you've got your dad's tribute. You yes. Know, th this whole week, that whole weekend was your. Dad's. It was about my dad. It was 100 percent about it, your massively. dad. And then. And it was amazing, and and you know, BSB did so, and the same when they did it for Chrissy. Actually, they did such a good oh, job of do doing them justice. Like when you look back at the pictures of Chrissy's at Brands and my dad's, they were packed. There were people everywhere. Yeah. You know, we were all jammed in like sardines, and I think that is mint. Like that just shows the people that they were. And I am so grateful that as a family, you know, we've got pictures of that forever. Yeah. What family apart from the Rouses and other people who have experienced it will ever have that? So I'm super grateful for what they did it, and, and they smashed it and yeah. they, the big boards of all the pictures I've got at the workshop and we're going to put them up and they're going to be in the entrance and you know nobody gets anything like that no. but that weekend was about my dad and and obviously it's no secret that that both riders said things that they probably shouldn't have but you know you've got adrenaline flying everywhere I I will never know what it's like to feel the adrenaline that they do you two do your brain doesn't work properly you know you it's just... verbal diarrhea <laughs> he said they just <laughs> open their mouth and it pours out like mm. that and that is just what happened yeah. so you know there were things that were said that that i was disappointed with and and i have spoken to both riders and and they were like do you know what we messed up and and we are sorry it's high pressure it's high adrenaline it's high emotion especially that weekend it was going to happen but i you know a few things went on that I was disappointed with that I thought did overshadow the weekend as a whole but you know that's for myself my brother and our team manager Johnny to resolve in-house and, and it was it's a it's a very public in-house situation yes because yeah. everyone wants to know they want to know, what did you say to them well, that, well that, that's the thing but you know oh, I think we can imagine what yeah. you said <laughs> yeah round of f-bombs <laughs> you've gone from that situation to You've been put in this, like, this is my point of view. You have been put in a situation in yourself to go, this is, ha like, you can't even plan could it. This is how I react. In at a worse time, That's though. what I mean. It's, it, like, this could have happened a year down yeah. the line, yeah. and this, and you'd be like, right, people okay. know who I am, yes. but you have had to go into there Literally. going. Yeah, I, I <laughs> sort of look at it now as Donington Park was my round one because Alton Park was very God, much about you. literally about my dad. Yeah. You know, Alton was poor bird and, and, and that's how it should have been. But whereas Donington, we'd done all that stuff, mm. the dust had settled a little bit, the, the, the fr not the freshness of it, that's probably not the right way to say it, but it wasn't so... You've had vocal. a weekend it to understand exactly, it. Exactly, it wasn't and... such a vocal point. So I do feel like... Donington was round one. And then... <laughs> yeah. But, like, we should have had... At Donington Park should have been, you know, one-twos, 
banging them out in every race. Uh, no doubt in my mind. Yeah. Saturday, you know, with the rain, it, we had a disaster. We, we made you the wrong suffer, choice. Your bike suffers in the wet. They're terrible in the wet. Yeah. They're so powerful. They're terrible in the wet. You know, it's just. Even when the lads the have had results on them throughout the year in the wet, they look they've been like they've been on, a, on a knife edge as well. You know, like yeah. like a, you watch it and you think, I want one to be sat on that. For sure. That's no disrespect to you the need... team or anything. That's just they're just difficult. Yeah, like I know, you know, I say I know nothing about the bikes. I don't know much about it at all. But you say that. when I've <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Yeah, no. but like listening into conversations, our crew chiefs say the Ducati you need to ride like it's a MotoGP bike. The slower you ride, the harder it is. It's just going to be a terrible thing. And the bikes aren't user friendly at all. You've got to know them inside and out. Yeah. And you know when you look at Glenn, he's jumped on that for the first time this year, and he has done a mint job. Him and Tommy are an equal amount of wins. You know, we but they both had eight wins. We've won sixteen races this year. Like that's mint. Yeah. And you look what he's done in you know ten rounds now. It's mega. And I I went to see him today in Birmingham actually, and we had a bit of lunch and caught up and. You know, put the world to rights as you do, and, it and didn't, he's. It it's, didn't have like a bamboo cane or a no, big, thick. No, yeah, to hit. It, it was in the car just in case, <laughs> but we didn't have to use it. Let's go to the car park, boys. Yeah, about that. No, we didn't have to use it, and like I think what he's done in in ten rounds on that bike is mega. Yeah. And he said to me, he said even at Donington, I was learning. He said, you know, I, I've watched videos back, and you know, I've looked at data, and I've changed this, and then I felt mega. And you think he's still learning? Yeah. What can he do? going forward and you know I feel really hopeful that I think we can win quite a lot of championships together and you know which is wild for me because he rode for us years ago and timing I think is everything and I think this is a fine example of timing being the perfect timing mm. uh, you know going forward I think we can be quite you know a strong team and and Tommy again you know he's gone from being a single man band with with Motorpedo and, and it's it's only solely yeah. on him and then he's come into a team that's mm. you know it's big pressure you've got a teammate that's fast probably you know I wouldn't say one's better than the other in any way shape Sit, or like, form the same amount of wins yeah. between yeah. him it says it doesn't it you know what I, I would mean? say if I was being uh, listen I like Glenn a lot mm. but I would say Tommy's got the competitive edge at the minute however <laughs> would I, I wouldn't like to be in uh, I, uh, yeah, what happened at the weekend? Like, fire going up. Yeah, yeah what, no. Uh, what I mean is that might, you might say the, the problem you've got is the last round of the season is always shit weather. Correct. Our bikes are terrible in shit weather. Not what you are no. uh, after. And and at Tommy's all. visor actually steamed up in that last race, I so really. I think he managed. He was ninth, and 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 he managed that really well because his helmet came in and was terrible. Yeah. So you know something like that at Brands Hatch when maybe you know have there's hardly any points between them. You know it's that is a win or a loss in a championship. Yeah. Temps were talking in this one. Haslam's, you know. Yeah. The, the and, people can and still Kyle win Ride, it. because there's still possible that eight can win it. Yeah. At the minute. Because of the is, new format with exactly. the time situation and stuff. So, yeah. And which is, you know, it's it's proper. That's, you know, yeah. it's so good. But I think Tommy, Glenn, Kyle and, and Leon, especially Kyle and Leon, they're just going about the business quite quietly while well, my two are bickering it out at the minute, which they are, I'm not going to lie, they are bickering it out. They've just gone about slowly, slowly. And, and you know, the points, I think it's like 35-odd behind now yeah. for... I mean, Kyle or Leon. you can only control the controllable. So Once they go out on track, that's down to them. How are you going to manage that? How? Just the the blunt question. I can't. I'm not even going to say the word team orders because, as far as yeah. I see it, yeah, gloves are off. The they, gloves are off. I, so somebody said that to me at the weekend. Just gone. Who would you like to win? I do not care who wins, as long as it's a PBM <laughs> rider. I don't care. Yeah, but that's good. Like that's, people might take that the wrong yeah. way because the, we're but talking they, about yeah. people. But yes, the, but it's it's for me. They both ride for our team. Yeah, whoever They're employed it is, to do a yes, job for you. Correct, and whoever does the best job and wins the championship is irrelevant to me but do not as long as that's another championship on our list and that's number nine it could be anybody's name yeah I, it doesn't bother me i love them both the same i've got great crack with both of them they've been mega and and you know i think 
in a strange way will probably be bonded forever because they were riding they were my dad's last riders yeah they were the last people he picked yeah they've been through the process of grieving with us because you know we are grieving as yeah. a team uh, you will have a special bond with them forever there's no doubt about yeah. that mm. i can't remember you having a season being so dominant with both riders the only time mm. we have would be 2019 with Scott Redding and Josh. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, so that we ripped it up that year as well. It was yeah. great. too, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So that would be, that would be one of the years, and and it was mega. You know, it was a proper. But I'm I'm as much as so, 2019 they just didn't speak at all. Scott and Josh did not talk. Both sides of the garage didn't talk. Just the way it was. If you can get on with your business like that, fine. But that's not how my dad wanted the team to be. So this year, people probably haven't noticed, but my dad at the back of the garage now has the data engineers and crew chiefs, the four sitting of them together. sitting together. I did notice that. Yeah, so that is... You've got to keep the team together, you know, because they're missing out on weekends with their families. It's, it's, it's just the way it is. And you've got to work together as a team. And that's why he did that. And that has worked really well because it's no secret. The riders don't like each other and uh, it's fine if you don't like each other you can't like everyone that's the way the world works yeah. but it's very difficult to like anybody who you're racing of course against. it is the it's first person you want to beat is your teammate as yeah. well isn't especially it especially in the, the word and the word teammate is so stupid it is in it's, this it's, game, it's isn't crap it? isn't it you know i, I mean? agree because they're not your mate no they are not your mate they're in the same team as you but they're not your mate no and and i think We've been. I, I'm really super grateful now that my dad did do that because it's kept the team together. Because it could have very easily gone back to how it was in 2019, where it was just very separate. Yeah. There could have been a blackboard in the middle of the garage, and and everyone would have been happy with that. But mm. that hasn't been the case. The the boys tolerate each other. They goad each other. It's tactics. It's games. It's 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 a controllable that they can do off track yeah. you know what they can't do a lot off track but that is one of the things how they react to each yeah. other is one of the things they can control yeah and i suppose actually it's healthy competition isn't it, if, it is. as long as they're not bringing your team into yeah they're not portraying your team in a negative manner yeah. then really that's sort of out of your on. hands isn't yeah, it it's yeah game do, on, do yeah. what you want to do and fair play fair play to you because a lot of teams would have maybe being a bit more public about the yeah. the way they've dealt with the riders but i quite like i think you can try and control things too much and you put too much pressure on the pressure cooker that's already there there are you have to sit back and say do you know what there are certain things i cannot control yeah. i can't control how the boys brains work they're wired up that way and that's the way it is but you can control the bolligan correct yeah <laughs> so and you can deal with i can control how we deal with it beforehand and afterwards that's that's what my yeah. job is the rest of it once they're out on the track and you know the lights go out not that it's not my problem but i can't do and i cannot physically control that yeah would you say in yourself you'd have to be tougher than your dad because uh, of yeah. this situation, you know, no, yeah, no, no, because no, you've no, lost no, your dad like... in the last two rounds. You've been, you've been chucked in yeah. the deep, sod the male female yes. thing. Yes, well, that does not matter. Yeah, I would Do say you so. Feel you have to be harder. Yeah, because I have to earn. You know, I'm a young girl that's stepping into her dad's shoes. I've got to earn their respect. You know, it's not, it's not going to happen overnight. That's going to no. take time. But I've got to earn it, and they should respect me as much as they should my dad. Yeah. Whether I'm here for 27 years or it's two, three, four years, it's still the same level. Because if we can keep winning championships, there's no reason why they wouldn't respect me or yeah. my brother. And how you handle in those situations as well. That's where the respect's built, isn't of course it? it is. And even how you're talking right now, I That's think you, you're actually different. talking very openly, but you're being very. You, you, there's no bullshit. Yeah. Like this That's is what, what I've said. This is what I've done on the high. At the end of the day, like we, what it's the boys act. are doing. No. No, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna be yeah, honest with you. This Coming is over a, just here. a few mates having a chat. Like there's no, there's the, what. Yeah, I can't. There's you, nothing to lose, is there? You would say this in front of Eurosport. Yeah. You know, I would you know, say you know, in front you know of the I mean? two riders. Uh, the chat I had with Glenn today was very similar to this. You know, I did say to him, my dad would say, Oof, you'd be yeah. in big trouble. And, you know, and that will come eventually. But, but I don't think you're going to have any trouble having no, riders in your team respecting you. Yeah. No, I'm I hope not. Because the, the other side of it is, like, without sounding callous about it, your dad's not here. Yes. And it's a bit in you. I can uh, see in your eyes, 100%. it's like, hold on, look, Glenn or Tommy or whoever. Yeah. 
Look, he's not here no, now. He's not, no, he's he not here. Be, I, this I'm wouldn't here. have happened if your dad was here. Because you look on social media, that's been caning. Oh, that would have happened if Birdie was here. I'm telling you now, that you 100% are, would have happened, yeah. though. The yeah. fallout would have been much the worse. Fall, like, the yeah. fallout would... It, it, this would have happened whether my dad was here or not. Because, especially the incident at Donington, that happened on track. My dad couldn't control that. No. You know, that 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 was down to them, and, and it was a mistake, and it was an accident that happened. You know, whether my dad's here or not, that would have happened. You know, it's interesting, like, you were talking, like, in the kitchen, and I, I want to go down that route. Mm. It's like, people think people are just handed over, like, you know, this team is now yours because yeah. you are the daughter. No, no, we're talking about, like, there's legal exercises, yeah. there is huge loopholes yeah. to jump through, you know, and we were even talking about... It would have about... been so much easier just to say, oh, let's sack it off. We'll finish the year and sack it off. It would have been so much easier because my dad was the sole director of PVM. Mm. So to get that changed, you have to go legal routes, and, and it is a faff. But when you want to do something, you'll do anything to do it, won't you? So yeah. that's where yeah. we're at. But you haven't just been... There's you know, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a pillow. Yeah. All right, Crack put a on. jacket on. There's your Louis Vuitton yeah. bag. Off you yeah. go down the grid. No, there's your helicopter. I actually haven't been to a round in the helicopter, which I'm fuming <laughs> about, because I feel like that should have happened. <laughs> it's all right. I've been driving. <laughs> there's time yet. There no, but it's, no, but it's interesting. No, but it's, it's almost getting the image across, you know... No, no, not even the image. The, the facts across that... You know, it's not even given to you, and that was actually a bit of a shock. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm not yeah. being funny, Josh. You make it soft, but you're not, just, an, not as a business. That's the thing. This, this is, is a business, business yeah. for you, not. Yeah. yeah, people don't. Yeah, pe it, as much as it is your passion and it is your life, you step back and there's my sponsors are putting a lot of money into our team. These aren't just mates that are having the crack that get pissed every night with. To be fair, we have a great crack. My team is mint. The morale's amazing. I've got some proper good people around me. Sponsors, team members, everything, mega. But sponsors are putting a lot of money mm. in and equally putting a lot of trust into me because my worry was, were our sponsors here? <laughs> were our sponsors here for Paul Bird or are they here for PBM? Mm. And that was one of my big worries that they'd finish the year because it was my dad's year and then would they sack it off after? Because there's a lot of uncertainty, of course there is. But everybody's been mega supportive and they're like, do you know what? We can help you carry on the legacy because that is what it is. It's now yeah. my dad's legacy and, and that's what I've got it's, to carry on. And it's not just you. You know, I'm going to go off the subject of Jordan at the moment. It's you and your brothers. Yes. Now, and how is your... How, to be blunt, I know he's not here yeah. at the moment, but... How, How's, it's a lot. He taken, like, it's you know. a lot for him, you know. I think a son to lose their dad is a big thing. Your best of mates, it's it is what it is. I, you know I, know, I, mean? I know, but there's always but that saying, daddies and daughters. Yes. You know, there's that old school definitely. saying, and you can definitely yeah. see yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But, no, but even so, but how is it? Because you, you know, your brother races, yeah. yes. and then he's got a lot of say in this as well. Yeah, and for you, sure. You know, you well, Frank Tom. and I, we're twins, and mm. he is my best mate in the world, you know. Uh, wherever the only sibling, no, oh, there's, oh, well, yeah, the only other there's, there's my sister, well, there's my, I've got, we've got a sister as well, Lexi, so she's 15. She's a football girl, so she actually, she loves racing, she'll watch, she's fully supportive, but she's not so, which, which is competitive, yeah, though. Yeah, she you is. See, she's yes, a beast. Yeah, 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 shh, yeah. You put the competitive nature sure. in, they'll come in, they will. But for my brother, it's really... I feel like we are in a really fortunate position because my brother being a racer, he is so hands-on with the rider side of things. So he sits in the garage and looks and he's like, if this was my race team as mm. his car team and I am racing what would I want my crew chief to do what would I want my mechanic to do what would I actually want my team owner to say yeah. to me he's got that perspective that I will never have you know I'm not a racer so it's like it's another little thing in our back pocket that I think is really going to be helpful the big question for me just to plot me head yes. there is there a good cop bad cop or is this a couple of westerns yeah, pulling so in you know what, you know what brother, I'm trying to think yeah yeah definitely my brother's very yeah well, my sister said you know he's in You're a crowd yeah brilliant i would say so <laughs> i would say so but you know he's got his own racing to focus on and yeah. you know like i said that's why he's not here he's got his own commitments but he is fully like i don't want people to think he's not fully invested in this because he mm. really is and yeah. he loves this as much as i do as well but you'll be sort of out yes front as yes like and... and he will be the behind the scenes with the lads what are you happy about what are you not happy about and you know because he's got that that point of view that i will never have like you're, like you're referring to us to it's that adrenaline element for sure you know, he knows got how they feel first hand haven't you yeah. it doesn't matter what you're racing yeah. you're racing yeah. adrenaline's he knows it, you say things you don't mean in the heat of the moment yeah. we all do but it's obviously heightened when you're going through what the lads and you are definitely do, you definitely never lose that you, 
as it doesn't matter if you've raced the flipping trike. Like, if it's if yeah. you if you it's just, in you, you just don't lose yeah, it. Yeah, like, no, you don't. You've either got it or you haven't. Yeah. And that's why some people don't make it in racing because they can't cope with the pressure and they actually don't have that instinct in them because it is instinctive like it's just it happens you don't know you're going to be this fired up for something it's just it's just what it is and if you don't have it then it's like they say if you can't take the heat stay out of the kitchen don't they and it's the same thing yeah. I like that. But, yes. I like that. We'll go with that, that one. Uh, I'm, I'm, sorry. No, no, go, 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 go. What, go, I, would go. Ask, <laughs> what I would love to ask you about, I, I'll say the future of the team. Yes. But I don't mean tomorrow, next yes. week, 10 years. years to come. I don't mean deal plans. I mean, when your dad was last interviewed here, he sort of suggested, re well, he didn't suggest, he said, he, what he said was, we've done our time of, of nurturing young talent yes. and, and doing this stuff and really we need to be winning championships. Absolutely yes. understand that. Is your view exactly the same as that or I'm, is there a mix? To or? be honest, me sitting there, he was talking about, to be blunt, the end of PBA. Yeah, yeah, he was. He, he was, was, you know what I mean? My was, dad was at the point, at the point that you kind of had a chat with him, we weren't in the best situation no, results-wise no. either. And I think when things are a bit crap, it's very easy to be a bit down in the dumps about it. Yes. If yeah, you yeah. asked him the same question now, we've won 16 races this year, but, oh, well, that's yeah. a moment, you know, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. For me, rider-wise, I... As a team, we love to go racing knowing we could win a championship. I don't want to go racing thinking I'm going to be fighting for points because my my granddad on my dad's house put a lot of his own money yeah. into this and still does to this day, and I am so grateful for him. And I don't want to... It sounds awful, but I don't... Not waste that money because that it's not a waste at all because there's some super talented young you know, lads and lasses coming through. But it's... It's one of those things. I want to turn at racing and know we can win races. Yeah, right. And that's just the way it is. I, 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 I totally like, well, to agree with that. And that history has shown, you know, you ha it's never the the experience talks, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? It's not, yeah. the, it's not like the 19-year-olds who are like... Yeah. There's nothing wrong with no, that. No, no, of course. He's it, always looked down the... Uh, yeah. I think battery. for me now, and my brother as well, you know, the next few years is, is about getting results and, and about us finding our feet and, you know, with two solid riders that I know either of them yeah. can win the championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the next few years, once, you know, because PBM will change. It's, it's evolving. It's anything evolves. I would love to have... A dead cert rider. So the the prime example is shaky for us. So oh, look, it's good, that's good. That's good. correct. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. my point. So you had shaky, and then we had Glenn. Glenn was brand new to superbikes. He came first. You know, his first outing was with us. So you had one that was pretty much a dead cert, and then one that you're bringing on. Oh. And and I think it's because a rider is not a PBM rider straight away. I think it's learnt. I think you become a PBM rider with time. And that's all my dad's doing. He, you know, you come in as you do your job, but I think you earn being a PBM rider. I, that's how I it like is that. for me. I agree. Respect it, it, is hard earned and yeah, easy lost. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. And <laughs> it's like that's, but that's none of my doing. That's just the way my dad is. I think if, if you are good enough, to be a PBM rider, then you should grab the opportunity with both hands because this team is the best in the paddock and I am fully convinced by that. And I would never say anything, you know, from hospitality staff to workshop staff to truck drivers to, like, I have the best people in the paddock without a doubt. Have you got any fear of failure in yourself? Yeah, you don't want to fail. You know, you never go into anything thinking, oh, God, if this doesn't work, it's going to be embarrassing, isn't it? And, I, and that would obviously be my worst nightmare. But I genuinely believe with the people around me, because this isn't just me and my brother, no, no. the people we've got around us, 100%, you know, we're going for double digits. You know, after, hopefully this becomes number nine. And then we are, like, got ten championships. Like, that's mint. Yeah. I, ju I just think, for, like, you get a lot of people in sport, in life in general, they go, no, of course I'm not going to... Like, I think that's bullshit. And I think that was a very honest answer. Yeah. I think... Everyone's the scared of, of failure. Of course you are. The, the fear of failure is more powerful. It's embarrassing. Like, you don't want to be, no one wants to be embarrassed, do they? It's just, you just don't want it. Yeah. It's just nobody wants that. No. And I think if you do go in thinking, oh, this might not work, you shouldn't be doing it. 
because yeah, it's just you're already starting off on the back foot aren't you but i think this can't be done with just my brother and i like it is the people around us and they are amazing you know, and, 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 so, sorry josh like, no, no. i think like, we're talking about that legal element i think what was very we're talking about your granddad yes. and obviously you know you've built a, a, a very successful business yes. and a lot of people be probably listening this going oh she's got bags of money you can buy mm. what you want that really isn't sitting in the kitchen we yeah, we, we had a bit case. more of an in-depth conversation yeah. inside but it's like you really are you need I the sponsors need 100%. <laughs> without them this team doesn't happen there we are you know my granddad can help all he wants but there's, there's not this empty there's not this sort of infinite pot of money that no. you just oh there's only so many chickens. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, everyone keep eating chickens. KFC, go for it. Nando's, get stuck in. <laughs> because but that pot of money ends. Yeah. But, you know, so you do need sponsors, and this this doesn't run without sponsors. Any team, whether mm. you're top of the paddock or the very bottom, it's just not going to yeah. happen. I think... What I think um, it sort of gets us when we're, when we're chatting about this is... What you said about graduating to be a PBM rider is so true. Mm. There's mm. probably people in the paddock who have who have even had the conversation or maybe the opportunity and never done it, or it's never happened, they've never been selected because they're good. Yeah, but they're not good enough. You're not shaky. Yeah, and you're not. And that was my dad's mentality. And that's, that is a byproduct of the success he's have built up over the years. Well, 100%, and that's all down to him. Yeah. That was the way it is. And I'm sure that people at home listening to this and watching BSB probably think that you have the pick of riders and you that actually that selecting it's, riders yeah. championship winners for you is easy yeah it's not it's not it's a headache yeah <laughs> it's a massive headache because you've got so many contributing factors like for any team your sponsors have to agree it's not just one person says that's it because yeah if i pick a rider a, 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 i don't know a 200 grand sponsor doesn't like but they're going to pull 200 grand and then that's you know imagine without that it's not going to happen yeah so you it's all parties have to be happy and it's hard and there's more than uh, this is a really difficult topic but a lot of so results are very important sure it's what we're racing for and one it doesn't survive without the other but there's more to the job than just doing good work yeah so 100%. so it doesn't it isn't just what happens on the track it's what happens in the garage but, and how the team react and yeah and it must be it's easily 90 percent off track 10 percent on yeah like, but, oh, like we've always said in our family happy is fast so the, the biggest way i've seen it is like when we've been picking teams for my brother to go into so for instance car racing is quite different to bike racing you go you do a test with the team you test the water see how you feel if you're not happy you don't have to sign you could go and find another team yeah. bike racing doesn't really it doesn't no. work that way it's it's really hard to describe but it just you show that you can ride the bike you have a meeting, you tell me you can win on the bike and we can win together for yourself. It's a bit less if your face fits, isn't it? Yeah, massively. So my understanding of it is with the car world, from what I've experienced of it is, and I mean this with the greatest respect, is how much is it to drive Correct. that car? Correct. Uh, I want to drive it, yeah. that's the crack. Obviously teams still have to have someone who can win yeah. and all the rest of it, but if you want, like if I wanted to and I had the budget, I could go and pretty much pick what car I wanted to go into. Mm, straight away. And do that. Whereas bike racing is not unlike that, and it's become more like that, which I think is a crying shame. Sure. It has become more like that over the years, and you could say it's because of the economy or whatever. It's an expensive thing. It's an expensive thing. thing. It's just the way it is. But, for example, you're not prepared to take someone because it could take... Would you take a lesser rider because it could take budget? No. No. Because we had that opportunity going into I bet, no, this year. That would be the only time. I bet that yeah. is braid on your door, yeah. you and your I, dad's I door. I can bring that. this this money, that I, you know, I can bring that. And So there was a particular rider that came in, I could bring X amount. I will, So he said, I will take half of that amount as my wage, so we didn't have to pay a wage, and the team could keep the other half. So you're on a win-win situation there. They just weren't going to be a PBM rider. It just, yeah, just wasn't going to happen. Maybe not yet. Maybe. No, 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 no so that, this was that's... an older rider. Like, you'd be very surprised at who it was. It was an older rider. It happened. I was shocked. When my dad told me, I was shocked. 
You know what the worst thing is, Josh? We won't even find out. That's how professional she is. We'll be, we'll be, everyone will be going, Mom, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The best thing is, though, people will be messaging us going, can you tell us who that was? We'll be like, we'll be like unfortunately, we, yeah, we, we can't. Get, but, no, but we'll like, never break the And, and it is such a shame, time. though, that, that it is so money-related, but that is just the way... Like, that's the way the world is at the minute. Well, it's just... It, why would... It, <laughs> It's people's jobs at the end of the day, I yes. get that, but also at the same time, like, why why should you be, you know, it's, it's a, people going about money, listen, the, there's lots of money in football, there's equal amount of money in bike racing yeah. and car racing and all the rest of it. The but top you go to 1%. Is, it, the yeah. setups are unbelievable. But the top 1% of any sport, the top 1% of performers in any sport are, is where the money's earned. So in BSB, the top 1%. Earn good money, but it's been like an office job. Loft, yeah. You own the company. You will take the most money from it. That's just that's whether you're a bike racer or you work at McDonald's. You know, yeah. you if you're on the fries, you're not going to be earning as much as the man who owns McDonald's, are you? Yeah, just yeah. the way it is. Yeah, like, it's just what happens. If you're on the fries, that's if you're the on the fries. <laughs> that can be the name of the that's pod. The pod <laughs> on the fries. <laughs> but it's poor. It's poor bird motorsport. I from the outside looking in, mm. as always. I don't think you could take money. I think that would totally... De- from a rider... Uh, no, 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 Do you know, I don't ever know. Like I said... No, so, for instance, Glenn did bring some money to the team when he first signed for us. Mm. Because he wasn't... He, he wasn't well, proven. but he wasn't proven at all. That's... And that's... that. He's the one person I would say would go off the normal for my dad. Yeah. Because he wasn't proven at that yeah. point. And that, again, earlier, but I said timing had... was everything. But you had... The show pony, yes. which is shaky. We had shaky. No, no, exactly. but no, but that's very interesting. But you know, it's a bit like uh, we we interviewed um, Alan Garner. He was talking about you know he's been diagnosed with prostate yes. and obviously his team element. And it's like he prides himself on the sheer fact of like everyone in my team gets paid. Yes, and that is at professional yes. level. And you're talking about that one percent, and you're in that one percent yeah. club alongside with the like, rest of these. We doctors. are so fortunate that we've got great sponsors that are mega with us. And and if if we truly believed that that person was going to be good enough, we'd make it happen. Mm. That's just what you do. If if yeah. they were going to be maybe not a champion in the first year, but maybe the second year, third year, you make it happen. That that's To be successful, you have to be proactive and you have to make it happen, I, I, don't you? I think this is the balance. Uh, people the talk show, in, we talk about partnerships in business in general and you would say that you have the head and the heart. But I'm going to use a prime minister as an example. Mm. So most prime ministers are knobheads and we don't want to follow them. No. So in actual fact, what... Well, the 90% of people probably don't... Well, they do realise. I'm not trying to tell about to suck eggs. But if you think about the Prime Minister, really, he has to be a leader. The people behind him do all of the work. The groundwork, right? yeah. And you need... And and I'll... Yeah, I don't mind saying this. I think, like, a Prime Minister, for example, is 60% business, 40% heart. Yeah. And I think racing's the same. Exactly the same. So I think a bit more heart, to be honest. Because you the, have to be passionate yeah, about it. Exactly right. So the business element of it needs to happen because it needs paying for. Yes. You need to make sensible decisions. Doesn't happen on fresh air, does it? Yeah. Then them black things that you put on last twenty minutes and they yeah. go in the bin. Correct. <laughs> like, and then you've got to buy another set. Yeah. yeah I actually didn't realise how much the tire bill cost and I had to look. I was like, ooh. And, and no one that's must have some buy handbags them. and shoes in there. You know, lots of <laughs> lots of lots of people might think, oh yeah, but they'll sell them tyres to people who do tractors and stuff. No, They're knackered. No. They don't want You go to Cadwell, um, to Thruxton, you, them tyres the are bin. going in the bin. So on a Friday, you can use three sets of tyres. How much is a set of tyres? Like 400 quid? Yes. 420 quid. Yeah. So it's that, a lot in, of dough, isn't it? It's a lot of dough. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, that's just a lot one, of trees. That's just one bag. <laughs> yeah, you better yeah. get to work. <laughs> exactly what I mean. So I think the... what you And a lot of chickens. <laughs> <laughs> chickens and chickens and trees. That could be name. That could be a name as well. Yeah, chickens and trees. <laughs> my, my point is that actually, you know, you can make on pay. If you looked at it as a balance sheet, you'd make the wrong decision. If you mm. just looked at racing as a balance sheet, just you know, if you looked at transport as a balance sheet, you'd walk everywhere. But it's yeah. not practical. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, there's got there's a got to be a big element of heart and passion in racing. And, and common sense. Yeah. Like <laughs> a look, bit of common uh, sense uh, as well sometimes. Yeah, like hmm. you know. Nothing common about common sense. Well, your, yeah. your riders have said some things. Your riders have said some things this yes. year that one have pissed you off and yes. definitely pissed other people yes. off. Yes, but they're fucking both doing the job. Yes, Aye. so there's that's, that's yeah. <laughs> this is my thing. Oh. Like, uh, 
because we've had a bit, you know, we had a crap weekend. Everybody's da- everyone is down in the dumps, and we've got a PBM group chat, and and I just fired a message in saying, we've won sixteen Three, races. Four, five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I said we've won 16 races this year. Both riders have won eight. We have absolutely ripped it up. We are going into the last round, one and two in the championship. This is a dream. It's an absolute dream. On the flip side, it's an equal nightmare because yeah. it is so much pressure pressure on you and so much stress. Like, it is, it's, it's, ri- it's hard. But this is what we've worked all year for. This is yeah. 10 rounds of the year. This is winter. This is every day in the workshop. This is testing in Spain. This is money being spent. Like, that. this is what we've yeah. worked for. On a scale of 1 to 10, how upset would you be if the lad stormed when a championship? Oh, show? my God. It'd be horrendous. Like, there is not one part of me that thinks one of my boys cannot win this championship. They can. Oh, no, yes. no, they're capable. 100%, boys. I know, but you just never... That is why we love racing, because you just never know what can happen. It's just one of those things. It's not turning up to work. This is exactly what's going to happen today. Just not what no, happens. Yeah. It's just but not the way it is. It, it, and like, it, that's <laughs> it would be yeah. horrendous. Z- z- zero. Gonna, oh, my God, we'd be turbo. Yeah. <laughs> way past the rev limiter at this point we would it would be devastating because this championship getting in a helicopter leaving uh, yeah or getting really really pissed it could be one or the other oh God, I'm gonna be so basically whatever happens yeah we're going to be really pissed on Sunday night that's it we'll just be happy tears yeah and exactly tears, won't it's going to be one or the other but jo- it'll Jordan be devastating in a box. don't yeah. come in the box do not just, come yeah. yeah just give her a drink the thing, <laughs> a is, the thing is though you, I really feel for you because oh the you should like you, you can't have team orders because both lads can win the championship. Yes. So the only team order you can have is don't you crash into him, and you don't crash into him. Correct. But <laughs> it's the last race on Sunday, and the championship's up for grabs. I, the first I and second. Said whoever, my, whoever wins is going to win. And, it, and may the best man win mm. because it could have been, it could be. Glenn fighting with Leon. It could be Tommy fighting with Kyle. You, we don't know who it's going to be, and whether they're teammates or not, may the best man win. If the tables turn, yes. and one of your lads is in, is in a sh- basically, let's say one of them's in for a shout, one of them changes, whatever. Yes. We don't need to go into yeah. detail. They're fighting against Leon or Kyle. Yes. Is there going to be some team orders? <laughs> so on the you could fi- you, yeah, <laughs> you could fire out team orders. Whether they would listen. Because for that person who isn't fighting for the championship anymore, yeah. they don't care. Yeah, but they, they don't care, but no, they should. but they should for the team, 100% yeah. And that's agree. where your priority yes. lies for... And whether, you know, you two are racers, you both race, could you switch that mentality off that I've got to do this for the team? Uh, you should. You should, you should, 100% agree you should, yeah. but could you? In your heart of hearts and be... I've never been answered that question because I've never been in that position. Yeah. No, but in the same... If you I'd like to think that I would. Yeah, you'd like to think you'd be the better person and you could do it. Yeah. But Let's use Tom Sykes and Loris yeah. Baz as a perfect example. Yes. I honestly think <laughs> that Loris... I honestly think that Loris Baz slowed his career down by doing what he did. I totally mm. agree with that. Now, as a, as a racer... That, that moment will not be forgotten. It's just a moment in time. But leave the whole mile off. Yeah. Like, darling, I'm like, oh, no. This is because... Did you see on Twitter, it was um, Hodgson and Chris Walker, wasn't it? Yeah. They There's big, like, circulator. I'm like, oh, no, that's however many years ago. Yeah. This is going to happen to us. Like, once this has happened, it's out. Like, that's not... You cannot rewind it. That's out. The thing is, though, what people probably... <laughs> like, Tommy did not intentionally crash into no. it. Kind of. But he's, oh, he's the um, basically he was just collateral damage that could have been anybody. Unfortunately, he just happened to take out. It Glenn. was very close oh, to was being like, Kyle and Glenn. It was though. like oh shit. It could have been three of them, and then Leon would be like, oh yeah, game on. Yeah. You know it, that could have very easily have happened then, yeah. and that's racing. Right. Let's talk about let's right. Brands Hatch final race. Yes. One two. Yes. Your riders. Stress. One two right. <laughs> yeah. Sod the team order situation, yeah. right? And I'm touching, I, I'm touching more while I say this, yeah, right? Same. Last corner. Yeah. Both oh riders honestly. go off. No, 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 no. Oh, like, let's honestly. talk about that. Would be the most remembered. Like you know, you know when you took, you know, you know Hopkins. Yeah. Like you know that. If that, that was that, remembered that, for all the good reasons. No, it was for good. Yes. Yeah. For sheer. 
Yeah. Yeah. That would be. But it could happen. Your, it could happen. Of course but it let's could talk happen. about. Let's talk in fantasy land. Yeah. Here. This let's is talk, the. Let's yeah, talk about. This is like the worst fantasy land ever. The I don't want to be there. Yeah, but the, you're gonna. But that so could, the, the reality yeah. is for you is sponsor. Like no, like, you know, you know, there's a business element, and you're yeah. going to sponsors going. Look, that's how much. They both want it. We will yeah. we'll go racing, and it's almost sellable and unsellable. It's like you can't control your team, I but look, this is racing. And if it's you like... look, so say, take me out. I am a, just a normal bike fan. I love it. Yeah. You look at PBM and what's happened the last few weeks. Everyone's on there. The do this. ticket sales at Brands Hatch, though, are going to be mental. It is like there's already an extra five thousand people just because of that, and and the crowds we have at Brands for the last round are always, always mega. Yeah. But now, like there is fuel on that fire, and and people are gonna want to see it. So, <laughs> mint for a fan, <laughs> being in it and being inside that because I'm right in the middle. You know, my brother and I are right in the middle of that pressure cooker, like. It's, you don't want to be in that situation, but equally, at the start of the year, I would have dreamed to have been in this situation. So it's, it's a re you, like it's, I can't imagine. Oh, the, the biggest thing for you, which, and I'm sorry to keep repeating it, is oh. just, everything's out of your control. I just think I'm trying to think of a scenario where where you could do something that yeah. would impact that. I'm trying to wind you can't. That. You one, can't. One can't help the other, no. and you might be in a position where if the balls go down, someone else is going to win it. Yes. Well, it's happened. But it's to happened mention, before. you could get a bad tyre, yeah, or you, you could just, have a mechanical. It or could literally anything. be anything. She's not going to sleep a wink. No, I'm like, oh my god, you've stressed me I'm out. Never, never on my drive again, lads. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> well, what I would say is you've, you're not, you're smiling when I'm yeah, saying that. You're not because it's that awkward. <laughs> no, yeah. so it is. But like, you think that happens because it, it, it could happen. It might not happen to me. It might happen twenty years down the line. Yeah. That could happen. That would be horrendous. And you laughed, but that would be awful. Yeah, but to be fair, you can probably and at once them boys roll out. I mean, the weekend will unfold how it'll unfold. Of course it will. You you can enjoy it at that point. Yeah. Well, you can try. Yeah. <laughs> because it's out of your hands. Yeah, it is. Once they're once, as long for me, the the things I can control that the boys prep the bikes in the best way possible, which they always do, whether this is round one or the last round you're fighting for the championship. Those bikes will roll out of the garage how they have done every single race. Yeah. And they, I fully believe that. The it's crew all... chiefs will again do exactly their job that they've been doing all year to the best of their abilities. Our riders, again, train as hard as they can, eat good, do everything they can off track so that when they get to the racing, they get on their bike and all they have to worry about is what's for tea and riding my bike. Yeah. That's I, it. I personally, I, it's Harley Rushton for me and your oh, team. I, I, I think Hals. it's a hundred, it's, it's all him. Nothing Shout to do with out you Harley, and your brother. You're a ledge. He, he's the only one who listens to the show. He's there. <laughs> <laughs> him, no, and, him and Harley's Obersby there, good, yeah. good lads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we love Harles. He is, do you know what? He is the most calming guy. He's so... The only like, reason I mention him is so when all the rest of the team take the piss out of him, you know? Oh, yeah, they, they, they do that them. anyway, though. You know, just Yeah, <laughs> but I'll he's been... You. Yeah, you're I like I think Harley. I met him at the, at the TT. He's normally walking around with no top Harley, yeah, Harley was at the TT. He'll have been pissed because it, um, <laughs> Adam Morgan, the touring car driver, it was his stag do at the uh, TT. No, I think you uh, you introduced us to him. Yeah, he can pedal a bike. Have you, I like, I get him signed up. Yeah. Have you seen him ride a bike? I might get a little classic one out for Harley. No, 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 so put him on a prop. That, 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 he can pedal a motorcycle. Yeah, do you know what? He, he can pedal a motorcycle. He does, he, he, when he crashes, he does like a good crash, though. He comes to work after a race weekend. He's got a bit it's Gravel rash, yeah. taking his top off he's again. He's limping, he's like, <laughs> he, yeah, he like limps in, dragging his neck. I'm like, oh, Harley, did you have... Oh, it was terrible. Like, he's obviously asking for 100%, but, he can, but seriously, that lad can pedal a yeah. bike. In. But like you say, the whole team's you've got experience and yeah. they understand the pressure. Yeah. No one's going, well, this is new to me. You know, they you know, understand you, the no, pressure. So you, that's that's actually not right. There are a few people that have never experienced this before sure, in man. the team, genuinely. In your... So some of them have never, ever experienced this. And that is a lot of pressure for them. The lads that have done it before, you know, this is a walk in the park. But my dad wouldn't have employed them if they couldn't hack it. Yeah, I was going to say that, yeah. that. If they couldn't hack it, they wouldn't be here. Because how many staff have you got to look after? So off the top of my head, we've got 28 on a race weekend. So you have, obviously, you've got your rider, you've got your tyre man, you've got your chief mechanic, you've got your second mechanic, and then your we do... Yeah. And Harles is the tyre man. Yeah. Crucial. Without them, promoted. we ain't going anywhere, are we? <laughs> but you know, there's, there's so there's a lot per bike. Then you've obviously got your data engineers too. So, plus hospitality staff. 
plus truck drivers plus the people that work in the office you know because you've got payroll you've got all these normal you've got insurances to pay for you've got all the normal life shit that God. needs done yeah so there's a lot of people it's there there are a lot of us but everybody is mint yeah and and i and you've am, got the best hospitality as well <laughs> yeah it's quite cool do you know what though <laughs> my dad oh it was the worst thing he ever bought looks mint so it's all fur coat no knickers that's what they say okay. isn't so, it sorry sorry can i can i touch on why is that a bad thing oh because no 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 not that i mean i mean the scene yes fur coat no knickers yeah. that sounds great to yeah. me because if it a woman looks walked bit, in with yeah, just a look, fur coat yeah. on, no yeah. one gets to slow the job Happy down. Days. I'm just thinking, if you'd you be... said to your wife, no fur coat, no niggas, you'd be like, please. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm just putting that out there to True. the world a bit. Maybe let's think of a different phrase then. So. I, I want to recreate that because <laughs> to me, think, fur think coat, think no niggas sounds outstanding. You've misinterpreted that yeah, phrase. Yeah, you have. Sorry. Get your head out that gutter ASAP. Not a chance. No, that gutter. Oh, so many. Moving on. You were saying about the hospitality. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ben Riff the Yeah, even worse. <laughs> no, so yes, hospitality looks mint. It's trick, it's, you know, it's proper cool, it's spaceshipy. You go inside, you get about 25 people in there at a push. Yeah, mm. not massive, It's is just it? not going to work. So downstairs, so you, they, they, they sort of go together so you can drive normally. So once... One of the trucks, the bottom half, is all kitchen, which yeah. is perfect. The other side of it is an office. Does anybody use that office? Dad thought he was going to. My dad had a laptop that never turned on. So he was <laughs> he never gonna one, Yeah. He was never gonna use was it, that. Was it just an intimidation tactic? I you reckon so. it, someone walk in and go, Yeah, it was probably one of them kids' ones that like <laughs> flashed a little bit and did yeah. a few songs. But so the office never gets used. So that's downstairs is a right. There's a toilet in there too, actually, that's full of boxes. That's our storage room. So downstairs is a write-off. You go upstairs. One side of the truck is all like where your food goes and a little desk and all the rest of it. Then the other, that is like a quarter of the truck, is where people sit. Mm. <laughs> so can we see like a? a, a would you like to make any big changes for next so year? That is my one, of, probably the only thing I yeah. would change. Please. And my dad was in full agreement with me on that. He said. I fucked up, that was the worst thing so I when ever we did. When we went to pick the March train truck up and yeah. your truck was there being yeah. finished, oh. and we were like, whoa, that's going to look unreal. Then when cool. we see we see Nick go up and it was like, that actually looks difficult to put together. Do mm. you know, it's not too bad. It's not too the, bad. It's like, for people who haven't seen it, yes. I mean, we're, we're, Jordan's talking it down here. It's, it is cool. Yeah, it's really cool. But, but it is two articulated lorries that lift up and then... You just Connect. join them together yeah, in the middle. with a bit of flooring. It does give me anxiety when I'm up there, though, because there's this, just a bit of floor that's put in there every week, and I'm like, oh. Who fit this? <laughs> yeah, if one of you lads hasn't put that, I'm going straight through that. So if, if the chair's on it, I just, like, scooch. You scooch it over. But you have your own hospital, like, so people can pay tickets and, like, obviously... No, so at the minute, do... no. Are you... So we are purely just friends and sponsors and team. That's it. Nice. So that would be something that I will be doing into next year. So we will have a VIP right. sort of You can experience. expand that side of yeah. it. Yeah. So we'll have a totally different hospitality. Um, and people can pay to come and, you know, you get your little goodies and you get a rider's, you know, Q&A. And, and you get the experience of being in with the BSB team. You'll get a garage tour. You know, it'll be a mint day out. So that is one thing. Because it's also revenue coming in for the team. And that's money... Mm -hmm coming in mm. so that's one thing that I'll, i will be doing next year so anybody you know from outside of racing who does isn't a sponsor that you know doesn't have the money to put big you know big because it is big money to be a sponsor that's just the way it is, of course it is you yeah. know you've got your your little bit of spends or your birthday money or you could and you want to come to a bsb race and that's how you can do it and before we move on to like the patreon questions yes. I'm, I'm kind of leading on i'll have to go oh, check yeah, the i must on, i yeah. must ask What's the future for Paul Bird Motorsport and Ducati? Is that a guarantee yeah, or is it not? Or is it? Uh, so we are a customer of Ducati. So if we say we want to go again, it's you go and chat with them and you talk, you mm. know, logistics, yeah. you know, how it's going to work. They are fully behind us. Fantastic. Fully behind us. And it's a case of don't fix it if it's not broken. Mm. I, I love Ducati. My brother loves Ducati. The riders love it. Everybody thinks it's mega. I can't see PBM and Ducati not being a pair for 
for long into the future. Because when there has been like bereavement in families, you know, yes. a deal was struck with someone else. Yes, you know, exactly. And that someone else being your dad. You know, it's like it's always that element, isn't it? Are you here for PBM or are, were yeah. you here for Paul Bird? Exactly. 100%. But they, they've been brilliant. So myself, my brother and Johnny, our team manager, well, we will go to Italy over winter and, and we're going to get a tour of the factory. And Because I've met everybody. <laughs> Big bags full of them. Uh, there's yeah, swinging well, on. That'll do, that'll a... do. But like, I've met them, but I've met them as Paul's yeah. daughter, you know, at MotoGP event. I've gone with my dad for the day out and that's how I've met them. I haven't... You know, my brother and I haven't met them as the bosses of a team. Yeah. So that will be something that will happen over winter. That must be cool. Like that, yeah, that it's must... cool though, isn't no, it? No, no, it's, it's, it, you're, like, like we yeah. said at the beginning of this interview, within 10 minutes. I can learn. I am just taking it all in. Every day is a school day at the minute. Which... But and I, that makes life exciting, doesn't it? Yeah, it does you know. It's like when you referred to the beginning of this, the, the shadow. It's like it's not really. It's, yeah. It's not when a you shadow, see it's, it's when incredible. you see the main bosses of Ducati in MotoGP, you know, giving messages about your dad yeah. on the TV. They like, are. It, it is everything you need yeah, to know. Yeah, of course really. it does. A hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. But it's like what? Like it's just great sitting here because it's just like you're not a pushover. And that is definitely the persona I'm like, yeah. and it's like people watching this are gonna go right, yeah, actually. I am actually quite nice, <laughs> but yeah. you can't be a pushover, can you? Because like we said, not, so not, many not, times not what you're going into. You're like not, a silent assassin, like a like. Yeah, it's always the quiet ones. You're just a nice person, which yeah. is when I was kind of interested but, to see but how you. But I gonna... do think you do need to be like that because when you're pissed off, they need to know that you're pissed off. Hundred percent, yeah. And if you're twat all of the time mm. and they've annoyed you they're going to just think you are how you are all the time whereas if you when you're mint you're mint and you're happy and it's mega but when you're pissed off they know about it because you're a different person then yeah. and, and then d there does need to be that because sometimes you know what you're going to get with my dad he thought oh my god i heard the footsteps coming up i'm like no he's coming in and you think oh, i hope he's in a good mood that i don't want to be like that i want it to be when it's good it's good but when you've done something wrong you, yeah. you're getting it yeah <laughs> that, that that's like no, that's how. Yeah, yeah that's how that, it is. That, it, that lacks Sign in the of, world now, isn't it? People just don't have a put like you, you should. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I agree. You, you, you can barely sack someone now, but yeah. the same breath, it's like you dump someone. Yeah, you're getting get the boot, out. You know? <laughs> well, no, you should. Yeah, that's of course it is. It is. Sign of a good sign of a good leader, that I would say. Go for it. Right, Some of to... these questions are fantastic. One thing I'll just call out at the start is every single one of them just is wishing you well. Oh, thank you. So That's very kind. We won't read all of them out, obviously, but I'll send you them so that everybody knows that you, you. you've seen them. But, yeah, everyone's wishing you really well. The first question, which I think is really great, is from Jess Mortimer, and he's asking, um, who was there anybody that your dad ever tried to sign or wanted in the team that couldn't you couldn't get? Ooh. Mm. All right, that, Jess. That is actually a really good question. Do you know, I don't, I actually don't think there is. I, I genuinely don't think. Yeah, I can't think, I was reading that thing and I There's probably been a few conversations with riders that maybe didn't want to come to BSB, that were maybe in World Superbikes, yeah. that were, but, because you know, no, do you know, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. It's. The, you know, I, I actually genuinely, I, I probably will go to bed tonight and be like, oh no, him. Well, if you, if you do, yeah, send then it, I will send let you through. guys know. But no, I actually don't it, think there is. I can well believe that because I, want, I can't remember where we were. It was before the round before Assen when you hired Harger. Yeah, that was cool, wasn't and it? I, I remember you saying, you saying like, oh, he's hired Harger, just to be typical of me dad. Like, just, yeah. I, it was like Harger, just like so out of the blue. It was so random. And it was great. And he was up there fighting at Assen. Yeah, and, and he... oh, his helmet's on the wall, yeah. actually. When, <laughs> when like, our friends... Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> when, like, friends come round... I can round... think of one. That was a rumour, sorry. Uh, finish, oh, finish. No, 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 you go. Troy Bayless. In the in the, uh, maybe, in the yeah, end of one season, yeah, there was yeah, a rumor whether yeah, it was true or not. But that's the, the only thing days. I can think of. But also, then that is early days where we hadn't actually proved ourselves. Then at that point, no, so why would you? I was thinking that there was a rumor. Ah, well, I can't remember now. It was like recently. Find out. It might have been when Harger came to ride the bike. Oh no! It was when Andrew rode the bike when Shaky got injured. Oh, there was that rumor. I actually, yeah, <laughs> that was my dad. 
I think that was one of my dad's rumours that he started. To, like, get the thing going. Yeah, you obviously went for it hook, line, yeah, and sinker because yeah, yeah. we couldn't remember it. That's but, the only one I can yeah, think of, a rumour sort of, that never materialised. My brother would probably know that. I'll have to ask him. He'd probably know that question better than I would. Sorry, I massively interrupted your, yeah. your Haga story. About oh, yeah, helmet, so like. his helmet's on the wall, and any friends that come round this house and bike racing go in and they're like, oh, my God, and their eyes light up. And then you realise Haga was... He's cool a, guy. Yeah, he's pretty cool. We've yeah. got his helmet on the wall. Who would be your dream signing? It depends which... I would love to say Valentino Rossi oh, is rid of yeah, anybody enough. would. Yeah. That's the cliche answer. A dream like today, Mark Marquez, he could be riding for us. You just don't know. He's obviously yeah. gone out of Honda. Ducati. He has it. It's Ducati. <laughs> just might not be the one you're thinking of. That would obviously. But oh, I would say mind. this year, for B if if you're asking me a BSB question, these two have been mega. We're one and two in the championship. Yeah. They've won eight races. You couldn't pick anybody They're else. They're a dream. But my dream, if I could, would be shaky. I love that you said that. Yeah. If if I, hand on heart, genuinely think if he hadn't have had his injury, he would still be racing now. Yeah, I agree. 100%. But my dream signing would be him. If you've, I like that. Yeah, you, I like you that. should read his book. It's amazing. Yeah. And, and he narrates it as well. So if you listen oh, to the okay. audio book... He, he, it's his voice, like it's him, it's fantastic. Yeah, no, I think he would definitely, he's got to be the dream signing. I would believe that, yeah. I've got a cracking question for our patrons at Marshall Osborne. What was Paul's most embarrassing moment, according to you, in life in general? I'd oh, but there's a few. <laughs> no, so I did, I did the little speech at my dad's funeral, and yeah. one of the ones was probably more embarrassing for me than my dad. No, oh, God, yeah. It was my first year at school, so I would have been, like, what, four or five? And my mum got a call in to go to the head teacher's office, and I'm like, oh, you know, Jordan's mint, she's great, she's <laughs> great <laughs> student. I'm like, yeah. But she's got a wild imagination, and mum's like, oh, God, right, OK. And she said, oh, you know... She could be playing in the playground and if a helicopter goes over, she says, that's probably my dad. <laughs> you know, we think that's great. She's aware of her surroundings, you know, mega. And my mum, like, laughed and she went, oh, well, well about you that. you sniper school, by any chance, aware yeah. of her surroundings. But it gets, it gets better. So my mum's like, it probably is her dad. And what my dad used to do was dive bomb my school. So if he was, like, heading to Brands Hatch or heading south, because we, with our mum, we live, like, two hours from here. And he used to dive bomb my school <laughs> playground in a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> like that was like the coolest thing ever but like I was embarrassed but my oh, dad goodness. I remember his most embarrassing thing was in Penrith being out for dinner no alcohol was consumed crossing the road and the zebra crossing was like on a bit of a lip and he went down like a sack of shit <laughs> like he, no. he he was a big bloke and he hit the ground so hard and he like laid there for a second there were cars everywhere that would have been the moment where he would have wanted the ground to swallow, <laughs> to swallow him up. <laughs> yeah, so that <laughs> has got to be his embarrassing moment. I love it. That is a fantastic there's a, answer. There's a cracker here about... We've kind of touched on it. I mean, there's a few asking about team orders and sure. et cetera, et cetera. So we've, we've yeah, covered... We, we end up yeah, covering we, a lot yeah, of Yeah, so we've covered yeah. that. But one of the... And we did touch on this a little bit was... Um, you know, do you see in the future any, any involvement in support classes with, with PBM as a banner, you know? Definitely. I, Ultimately, it all comes down to costing. Yeah. Of course, mm. it does. But I would love, you know, there are some young riders that I would love to that aren't ready to come to super bikes yet, but will be one and day. Nurturing. And and like we say, to become a PBM rider, you've got to earn it. Mm. But you've got to start somewhere. Because you've got history of that with yeah. Stuart Easton. Yeah, and, and like Keith Farmer was a fine example of that. You know, he came in, won two championships in two years. You know, and he was prime example of that. And, yeah. You know, it didn't work out in super bikes with us with him but we had some great success together so he would be one of the success success stories of that yeah. for sure excellent I, I must ask and people will be screaming at us when i ask this mm. but what's your view on the road racing so on the, on, on so i actually went to the tt for the first time as an adult this year i fucking loved it me do it you, no, no, was no, no. mint <laughs> me too <laughs> it was mint i loved it and now because i've always thought oh god the tt you know it's one of those taboo subjects it was un 
unbelievable. As soon as I got there, my dad, do you know what? He, he, that was dad goals that week. He said, I'm going to come pick you up. So he picked us up in the helicopter and flew over. Did not like flying over the sea. Won't be doing that again in a helicopter, but it was great. Got there and we literally got there in time for, I can't remember what session it was. And where we were walking, I can't even remember where we were. We were um, walking through a load of trees and it was at a campsite at um, Kurt Michael, it was. And there's a campsite yes. down at the bottom. Yep. And to get to, we watched at a car garage and to get to the car garage, you had to walk through the campsite. No, I could hear the bikes coming from miles away and instantly I, that, I felt that yeah. buzz. And I, you get it at BSB, but you do not get that that feeling i have never experienced at bsb or motor gp or wherever we've been i loved it you see now becoming a team owner yeah you've got to think about these things no no, no you don't have to it's uh, they, there's always no no there's always that one element now you've is. had that now so do you want i worry if we did do it would that zap all the fun element out of it and the enjoyment would that just be so high pressure for me and the boys in my team that it would zap the fun mm. out of it i don't know you don't know it until you're in the situation yeah. but at the moment i can't see us doing the tt because you know my dad the, the ducati just probably is not it's probably not the thing to go around oh, no, no, it no, no, would no, be it's... it would sound mint crowds would love it it would be amazing but would it be the bike to do it on i actually don't mm. think so it's just it's interesting to see this compete like immediately you had competitive nature from yes. a very young age yes. now it's like right We've got yeah. this, you, you want to turn this page yes. in your book, your yes. family book, and it's a bit, let's get this British Championship yeah. done. It's just, I'm really looking forward, if you'll let us back on your dryer in a couple 100%. of years, no, no, and then see where... See where the next, it's, it's no, evolved. You know, you're like at the TV, actually, yeah. your dad's got his name, yeah. Andrew, Paul Bird. Yeah. But would it but be my... Yeah. You know, does, does Jordan want to win a TT? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, I, it's, for it's me, interesting, you know what I mean? Northwest, as long as we have Glenn, we will probably do the northwest it's just, where it is it's and, just and it's it, mega yeah. you know and and it's good but again it all comes down to funding if if i can have enough money to do it and do it properly i will do it mm. um my brother's mega keen on macau so he wants to drive Something macau racer. exactly so now my new dream is to have our race my brother would be a team owner and a racer at the same time on the same weekend that's never happened before so i would love my our bike team to go to macau and my brother race at the same time and glenn's won macau's correct yeah. but i that's not my riders have to fully want to go i can't say you know do you fancy it they yeah. need to come to me and say right i really want to do bsb and i want to do macau yeah. i want to do bsb and i want to do the TT. It's, it's, it's funny the, because the, what you were just talking about, Macau, there when I mentioned that the I, entries what, are open, what? Jordan. Yeah. The entries are open, and I'm just just putting yeah. that just out there. That. Yeah. Just uh, you know, Glenn might have a spare bit of time in November. Yeah. I'm just uh, <laughs> chucking fuel on the fire. Yeah. Go win a Macau, man. Stop it's, being a no, shy so, bag, Jordan. Go win so a Macau. So we did genuinely <laughs> truthful honesty here. We had the opportunity to go to Macau, yeah. but. Macau's got a load of money, we know that. Everybody knows it's a wealthy, wealthy place. They just didn't offer us enough money to go, yeah. and it would have cost me a fortune to go. Yeah, yeah, and so. then, ultimately, you're going for the wrong reasons. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm then going to try and get money, or earn money, or it costs nothing, and then you're going in in the wrong yeah. place straight and away. And you want to do it with your brother. Wholeheartedly. And it, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And yeah. I think everyone tip up and, and it be mega. So never say never to that. The TT, I'm not. I am not convinced, but I love going and I loved being a spectator. Yeah, and you and maybe should continue that. Exactly. You maybe will continue but, but to never enjoy say, it. You just never know. It's, you it's, just never know. It's just. It's. It's. Um. It's very. Yeah, it's very. Very interesting. I love it. I yeah. But no, it's. But it's important. I, I know, having Paul Bird, like, no PBM back in the paddock. Yeah. I feel like I'm putting the pressure. On. Yeah. No, no, but no, no. But I get it. A, you are. You, it would be seriously cool. Of this sport. Yeah. Like it or not, but you have a foundation in this motorsport mm. and motorcycle racing, and obviously in the future, obviously not right now. Yeah. But I, I would, I never, would love, you, you I would love to see never. you walking on Grand Country Road with a yeah. rider. You know what I mean? Going, 
were here. Yeah. That's what I hold for. And because I'm a biased Road fan. Yeah, you know what I mean? of course. And I... <laughs> but, but I 100% now, after going this year, know why people are so yeah. obsessed and love it because it was probably one of the best few days of my life I've ever had. It was mega. That's, like, that was my that was my last memory of your dad. Yeah. Um, I, I did, like, uh, first suit about race. Yeah. It, it, went, it went all right for us. And your dad was mid-conversation with someone. And he stopped all of them and marched straight over to us and went, do I owe him 20 quid or something? And, yeah. and I, uh -oh. I'm surprised he even remember me. I'm not even just saying that. And he just stuck his hand out and went, fucking outstanding. Did he? And I'm just going, I'm not Michael Dunlop. I'm you, not going to ruin this. Yeah, I'm going to be nice for <laughs> once. I'm not going to be a twat. No, no, no. Your dad's always been a gentleman. You know, he's yeah. welcome into your home. And, you know, the, the, you know and we're just talking about your dogs. And, you yeah. know, they've, you've yeah, just you got them the day UK, beforehand. Exactly. And, UK, I... Picked up the dogs in UK the next day. Chrissy wasn't sure on them. He was he's, a bit. He's, he's not, he wasn't in the dogs. No, he wasn't no, no, keen. He, wasn't he was a bit cautious. He about was dogs not keen. No, he wasn't. Don't be kind to him because he was not keen no. on them and at there, all. There's me. Yeah, you were. I'm a dog. I'm a dog person. You yeah. know, but, uh, but but seriously though, it's like you know that that demeanour off the hard face, poor bird, and. Um, no, he was, he was a perfect Well, he was a dad, he was a dog lover, he was, you know, it wasn't just his race team. He, no. There was a lot more to my dad than, than and, met the eye. And people don't have to go out their way to be nice. Nope. And I think that, and he was he was so, and, you know, Grace made it to your father's funeral. You know, yeah. I, unfortunately, I was at, hospi at yes. hospital at the time, but he was incredibly kind to Chrissy and support Chrissy. And, you know, he came I, over I and would me fully hand say now, it's easy for me to say, I genuinely think Chrissy Rouse would have been on one of our bikes. It, whether it was with my dad or whether it was with me, 100%, without a doubt, Chrissy Rouse would have been a PBM rider at some yeah. point. For I think sure. probably people you know, after, know that. You know, that. I'm not being funny. You know, after everything you just said about yeah. being becoming a PBM rider, thank you for saying like, And I'm not even, yeah. you know, he I'm, was I'm the, his mate. He you know was what I mean? the like, perfect of example yeah. of deserving it because he worked his ass off. He, he worked so hard for everything he ever did and he was just a nice guy. You know, people are... There's a lot of twats around this place, we know that. But There's two on your drive. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but he genuinely was one. I, Not even just being a nice guy, but he had the talent, and my dad 100% would have put him on one of our bikes at some point. That is, without a doubt. People probably don't know that your that dad is, was a sport of Chrissy. Yeah, my in, dad in adored the, yeah. Chrissy. And, you know, the small... My dad helped in the tiniest way, whether it was... A little bit of guidance or you know and they ate with us in hospitality we had a couple of his guests and we just made Chrissy's life that tiny bit easier where he his fa fans family friends who ever had a little base yeah. and they could come for a coffee they could come for their lunch and you know Chrissy could come in for his dinner he didn't have to worry about what he had to eat yeah. he was going to be there for him and, and that Make, it's a tiny thing that makes a big difference, yeah. and it did make a big difference yeah. to him. I know that it it's did, just yeah. one bit. You know, you don't have to knit to Tesco's on your way to the track. It's just done for you. The, the family, obviously, after Donning, you know, um, yes. you know, the family were talking about that as well. And you yeah. know, honestly, that it put a smile on my face. And obviously, Grace, you know, she works her ass off. This is her show. And yeah, she works her ass off. She's absolutely smashing yeah. it. Yeah, so. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to say this for her right now, and she'll say this in person to you next time. But thank you so much for saying that because you. You're not a bullshit. No, <laughs> no, 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 exactly. No, no, yeah, no. exactly, so, exactly. Well, thank you for that. Thanks. Yeah. On the subject of uh, sponsorship, and obviously we've talked quite a lot about yes. that and the, what it's required to win a race team and stuff, um, I just wanted to mention again that Bennett's are still doing the the, the pit box at Brand, so they still have the pit perch on the pit wall and they've got the um, the last garage, which will be next to the yeah, well, PBM garage. Brands is mint for that, though, because... When you win the championship and they do the final with the big heart, it's packed full of people. Yeah. And you actually can't get anywhere. But when you're with Bennett, you've got that little barrier that just brings you out into pit yeah. lane. There's nobody getting in there. You, you If you're with like Bennett, prime, you're in there. It's VIP a prime spot. spot. You can see the stress that's going through me, my team, the riders, and all <laughs> the other teams. And you're in the prime spot. So if you see some colourful language, if you're with Bennett's, I uh, do apologise. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the Bennett's guys have got that stuff, which, as Jordan just said, it's absolutely... Absolutely amazing, yes. like you're not getting any closer no. to it. Uh, so that's a fantastic opportunity. And um, yeah, just a little bit of 
uh, sort of catching up and news and stuff on on our side. So unfortunately, we're going to be losing Colchester Kawasaki as a title sponsor of the podcast. Yeah, so it's a case of you know they you know like we were talking about budgets you know and, yeah. um, you know we had Luke who's kindly supported and sponsored Chris for years and you know he's been in touch and said they're, they're going to have to wind things back a little bit which is more than fair they've supported us yeah, for a long time yeah. Yeah. but that's things evolve up. and things change and you know that as 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 good as they've been to you and as much as they've done for you that then opens the door for another new yeah. partnership to form yeah absolutely, so, absolutely yeah. and hopefully you know grace puts a heart and soul on this and obviously you know we, we, we do as well and you know if, if there's anyone see us who want to get yeah. in touch you know we, we, we have a have the opportunities, very yeah, nice. And, and, and yeah, just also, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously, it's a sad thing to be to be losing a partner, but uh, also just a thank you to them as well. They've been a huge Damn part right. of Definitely. Chrissy's racing career as as well as the pod. And another plug, I'm sporting a lovely cap here that Grace has had made. She's How got, much has Grace given you? She's she's got got some, this is strange. Favouritism. She's got some, you need to sort uh, that out ASAP. She's I'm done a great, the she has done a good job. To be fair, I've been handing her for a cap for all year and she's come up with these caps. I think they're really good. And there's a bobble hat as well. We have the bobble hats, the travel mugs, the bottle openers, and um, we have the Christmas it's like special we're on lights. QVC. We should we're have them. Yeah, like... We've got diamond necklaces. Yeah. We've got <laughs> no knickers. Yeah, earlier. but basically, check out the website. So Grace will put the website in. Uh, everything's on there. She's doing a cracking job with the website. That's a new venture for her. So and, all and the support's appreciated. She's working on coffee as well now. The Is girl she? never sleeps, so she's partnering up with Quick Shift of Coffee here. So she's going to get her own blend. Oh, she's she's the girl, smashing it. The girl this does not girl stop. Is smashing the it. bill does not stop, but um, I think I think you've absolutely tidied everything up beautifully at that point. And then, that would have been Chrissy's job, wouldn't it? Well done. Yeah, <laughs> that definitely wasn't your fault. So what, no, no. what people don't realise is we is is Grace is like amazing at scripting. No, she's not just yeah, script. this no, is all Grace. But no, Grace is uh, Grace makes sure that we're armed we're armed with the the info and stuff. And obviously, we do get to spend a lot of time with Bennett and and. Uh, a lot of the people who are involved with the yeah. pub we get to spend a lot of time with them. The guys from Quick Shifter come down and Bennett's at every BSB meeting and we do track days with them and stuff like that. So yeah, no, they're very much they, a, they do a lot. Yeah. Bennett's do a lot. It's mega. It's really, really good. No, absolutely fantastic. And I think, like, obviously, we've got to shout out to the patrons, you know, please sign up. We need you more than ever, you know. Mm-hmm. We've had, like, Jess tonight. Paul Shirley, to, I call her Cyril, just to wind Cyril. her up. Cyril. Well, <laughs> Cyril. She's from Carlisle, Cyril. Uh, you've got Tony, Keith, uh, Marshall, I'm just scooting through here. We've got Phil and Mike and Nick. You know, you get shout outs on the show and get to speak to people like yourselves. You can leave voice notes. And be- so it's been amazing to meet some of the patrons and stuff as, as well. So, uh, like at Donington at the weekend, there were, it's just every weekend you get some lovely comments from people, and it's really nice to hear. And sure. uh, it, well, it can't happen without it. You know, it, exactly. they make it all the difference, don't they? Yeah. Might be like I was saying with selling tickets in hospitality. You know, you might not be able to do a big sponsor like Colchester Kawasaki have done for these years, but you can do something tiny that makes quite a big difference. A hundred percent. It's even like simple things like the diesel, the editing software. Yeah. You know, people like we do this because we love it and yeah. stuff, but we're not making. Nope. money from it but we need we need mo- we, we need money to keep great, like to keep the show yeah. going keep the no, show on exactly. the road but there we are but um on that note I'm, i must say thank you so much yet again jordan thank for like you. letting us yeah. just drink your coffee sit on your dry <laughs> and um I, don't, I think the term good looks not good enough yet you're gonna smash it yeah, yeah, that's the I'm, plan. yeah. I'm i'm exci- i'm excited for the future thank for you. you you know what i mean it's Me too. Uh, there's I no echo that yeah there's no doubt in it so i just think just enjoy it yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, present thank- in the moment, both hands and yeah. Yeah, no, thanks very it. much. It's, we appreciate it. it's not a, um, it's not an easy time. Mm, definitely, but we'll get there. Well, we'll get there. No, thank you for having me. No problem at all. Right, well, um, we'll catch you all next time. See us in a bit. <laughs> that was class. Thank you that's so, so much. Good. Honestly, I think that's one of the best ones. That's ever you know, you know what? We haven't gone. Like, you, just you so could in- work for Eurosport. I could sleep Honestly on a cloudy old voice. That was actually a lovely. Li- I, I'm going to ring <laughs> you up later on, Gang. Can you sing me? Can I you sing me? <laughs> In all seriousness, you, I, I understand you'll brilliant. be feeling the pressure from like a technical side and, and the lads are putting in place. You'll, you'll do all that. Yeah. You'll put all that. You being the face of that team is. It's like honestly, no, it's just you. no, no. Like I'm not like you just spoke. It's, like, it's just all a bit wild. Like it's, yeah. you know, when th- like when things happen so quickly, you 